The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. Uh, would you rather give up cheese or blowjobs for the rest of your life? <laughs> blowjobs all day. I, I'm the same. I'm fucking Yeah, way. they hurt my jaw. Blank. Rejected name for condoms. Gosh, I don't know. Cock koozies, jizz mittens, ham holsters, kidnappers. Yeah, try it now! <laughs> <laughs> try it, try it now! What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I am your host. My name is Scotty German, a.k.a. Scooter McFuckstick, and alongside me, as usual, I have two excellent stand-up comedians. First, he is the nicest, deepest-voiced homosexual that we all know and love, Mr. JP. Yeah. How are you doing there, JP? I'm great, man. Ah, that's good. Uh, but uh, none other than uh, everybody's favorite comedian. He is the 1984 Kingman County T-Ball Defensive Player of the Year Award winner, Mr. Jeremy Joseph. Two weeks in a row? No, nah, he's got he had a he had a break in between. Oh yeah, that's right. Steve was here last week. Yeah, that's it's right. easy to forget, Steve. That's true. Oh, that's so mean. <laughs> that's so mean. God I know damn. it's early in the show, but I feel like from an entertainment standpoint, I'm already doing all the heavy lifting. Yeah, you uh, are. You, I'm going to need you guys to pick up the fucking pace That's here not going to okay? happen. I hope you don't expect that to happen. <laughs> yeah. There's a reason you're here. Not from the far left, anyway. <laughs> Ah, uh, shit. Well, welcome in, gentlemen. It's good Thank to have you. both of you here. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, if this is the very first time you've ever listened to a Laughing on the Sidelines podcast, this is a comedy show where we like to make very inappropriate jokes about the current events that are going on in sports and inappropriate jokes that have nothing to do with sports whatsoever. In fact, a lot of them are targeted towards me, and that's fine. Uh, this is also an adult podcast where we like to use foul language and offend lots of people. So if you have thin skin, you're in the wrong place. Get the fuck out of here. Thank you. Bye. Man, it's nice to have you guys. I'm in a shitty, shitty mood. Good. And uh, you guys are going to make me feel all better. You're no, shitty we are mood. not. I'm like, I'm, I'm sorry about that. I'm buddy. like, I'm like in the middle. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm excited you to need do the show. No, definitely not. Okay. Just no. checking. But that jacket is dope as fuck, though. Isn't it? No. <laughs> why, are you, why are you making fun of my jacket already? <laughs> we just fucking started, man. <laughs> You're already making fun of my shit. Ah, that's what I do. That's, that's cool, man. That's all I got. I mean, you know, it's no fucking sweatshirt hoodie. Hey, I got my hoodie. I like yeah, my hoodie. Yeah, you know, it's no hoodie. But. That's my hoodies. Uh, but you anyway. look like something out of like an 80s like ski patrol. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, welcome to the podcast. If this is the <laughs> no, first time you're tuning in. That's a good thing. Those guys get all kinds of fucking clam. Yeah, oh, they do. I love it, too. Yeah, I, sure. The more pussy, the better for me. <laughs> Damn <So>. right. <laughs> I fucking love it. <laughs> that's fucking great uh but anyways welcome in to another uh episode we've got some uh some headlines to get through we've got uh never have i ever which we kicked off a couple weeks yeah, ago I like and that. i kind of like that yeah i like that uh we have that we done that before no no it was the very first time a couple of weeks so ago. never have i ever done that segment yeah okay. uh, yeah <laughs> fair enough uh that's where i draw the line bad advice with jeremy again this week Yay. Yeah. Oh, I guess I am doing that. Okay. Yeah. Totally forgot, didn't you? Sure. Okay. Uh, I can come up with something. I'm sure. Uh, then we also have questions and preguntas, a draft, and as always, a shitty situation sponsored by somebody who doesn't want us to be sponsored by them. Uh, but before we do that, we'd like to talk about what happened to us over the last week. We call it our week, week recap, and we're going to kick it off with Jeremy, or it's not Jeremy, JP, because we know exactly what JP already did. I played cards. Oh, that's not new. No, I do it every now and then. Okay. Uh, bold. Okay. And smoke pot. Out of a bowl. Bold really good. Oh, did you? Oh, man. Last night was my high set of the of the year so far. Nice. I shot 225 the first game, struggled a little bit mid-game, Yeah. and then back-to-back 279s. Look at you there. So, that was good. It was a good night, man. Mm-hmm. But like three other people shot eight something. And oh. So, you know. Yeah, that's what it is. It was what it is, but. It was get, a good night for me. You always go to the bowling. Does nothing ever happen down at the bathhouse? 
There is no bathhouse, man. I know that's going to be hard for you to believe. I just assume that's what all you people did. <laughs> no, I know you. You would assume you probably assume correctly if there was one here, but there's not. Yeah, and the closest we got is around. Vegas video. <laughs> oh, really? Why not? And I'll tell you, you why. You got to bring your own towels. I'll tell you why not. Walk in there, and then you tell me why not. No, thank you. All right, I'll go do it. Okay. <laughs> no, Jeremy's going to be right to back. <laughs> Take video. Probably not. No, uh, I, I might be a minute. Yeah, I'd be a minute. <laughs> Uh, okay. Um, I, that's it. That's I, it. Really. I, I really do have to ask you an that's honest. That's going to be my new business venture. I'm going to open oh. a fucking bathhouse here in town. Okay. What else you got? Go ahead. Nope. Go ahead. Because it, it is in regards to your week. Okay. I watched a 15-minute demo on a game that has been brought up on this show, and I still have doubts of whether or not it's a game that's worth the shit. Dude, you're stu- after you don't the buy fe- it, you're After the 15-minute demo I watched, it looks fucking great. Dude, it's amazing, right? Why? Just the demo. Dude, play it. Just what game? Fuck, it's like 30 bucks. It's called Goat Simulator 3, Jeremy. It's totally oh, worth dude, have you ever had simulated goat? <laughs> yeah, it's fucking awesome. Those are the best kind. <laughs> yeah. It, it, this is re fucking ridiculous, it, but it's it it's looks gr- fucking dude, it's, fun. It is fun, man. I, I just It's so hard to believe because that game looks more fun than games that ha- that are extremely expensive and take up way more time. Yeah. But it uh, it looks like it's is a Is it time. what it sounds like? Yep. You're simulating? You're a goat. Nice. <laughs> but you can, you, you're like, you could be any kind of goat. Like, there's a giraffe, but they don't call it a giraffe. They call it a tall goat. <laughs> Everything's okay. a goat. And sure. I mean, it's just puns and fucking it. Oh, it's fun, man. You could lose yourself for hours. Yeah, it's it's crazy. That and a couple bulls. <laughs> yeah. You've got a fucking I hot just, fire. Can you play Friday this night. down at Vegas video? <laughs> sure you can, as long as you've got like a PSP or something. Yeah, I don't know yeah, what they're sure. called now. Uh, I don't. I don't. Oh, oh man, i got to invest in one of those, Jeremy. Yeah, that man. sounds like a really good time. Where could you buy a PSP? In this day and age. <laughs> well, you can get it. You can get them on eBay. Uh, All right. Not only that, I think they've actually come out with something like that I'm is sure. actually handheld that I don't can like do that. Handheld shit. Uh, it doesn't have the. If I'm going to hold some in my hands. It's not going to be that, a video game. Yeah, you know I'm sure. I mean? Yeah, I know what you mean. Um, but no, I think that they've they've moved way past that. Like they they now have the handheld shit that you can play on regular yeah, PS5 right. shit, yeah. and I just don't. Uh, I don't want to play that fucking badly. Right. I'm sorry. I just don't. Yeah, right. Uh, but yeah. Anyways. Did hey, you, man. Do you yeah. know what today is? What is today? I bet you don't even know. I can't believe you don't know. Yeah, I probably forgot. It's exactly a year to the day from the first time I did the show. Are you fucking serious? I am not. Congratulations. <laughs> oh. I just said it to see if you'd be excited oh, or well, not. I, I turned the audience down. Yeah, Fuck. They, they, cool. you, just, you just absolutely crushed them. That's so mean. I'm sorry, guys. No, you're it not might sorry. be. I don't know. You turn the audience off a lot, Scotty. I do. <laughs> <laughs> Just with my presence. Yes. I know. It's okay. Your presence is shit. <laughs> it, well, it's what has to happen. You present like an asshole. Well, sure. Because That's what I, you do. I am one. Yes. Uh-huh. Yes. I. No lies I here. I don't think anybody was disputing that. Oh, okay. Well, it's worth it. But thank you for your stupid fucking explanation. You're welcome. <laughs> you asshole. Uh-huh. Did you watch any new shows there, JP? Did yeah, you? man. I sure, I'm sure. i sure I did. But you don't remember them? I mean, I remember them. Oh, okay. I don't know what they're called. That's fine. It doesn't matter. Yeah. A lot of help you are. Yeah, Anti-climatic I suck, Anti-climatic JP. All right. You're welcome. Anyways, uh, I'll move on to my week. Um, I have... Uh, I sure. been, he's oh, just yeah. going to leave you for last. Yeah, he's the Always crescendo. Always does. Yeah, um, he's the crescendo. But, yeah, I'm fine with that. He's an okay. asshole. Yeah. <laughs> That's what assholes do. Uh, dude, I've, I've played a lot of dominoes. Yeah, that's, like, I, yeah. When's the, when's the last time you played? No, you don't have to do math. You that's, do. No, it's not. It's like a match game. That's no, it. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah. It's, you, it's, you play Mexican train. Well, you have to know what, don't you have what to add dominoes to keep score? are out. You have to yeah. know what By the you way, play if you can block that person. You yeah. know what I mean? You if got, I there mean, is a more fucked up scoring system than bowling. <laughs> no, no. Yes. <laughs> you want to talk about having to do fucking math. Of course, that's probably all done on a computer. Now, that's easy math, man. Yeah, that's easy math. It is. But in uh, multiples of tens, basically, I, w- I would bet that. Okay, what did you say you shot in your first game? Two twenty five. Two twenty five, and then two seventy nines. Yep. I bet you people would be very surprised to see how little difference there is actually between a two seven. I mean, it's just a spare where you got a strike in a couple of places, and it can that well two seventy nine is 
all strikes except for one frame, and it's nine spare on that right. frame. Okay. So that's crazy. But then the two twenty five, I think there were five frames I either spared or I opened once actually in that game too. But like, say the difference between somebody with a two sixty average and a two thirty average, you're going to have a hard time deciphering between the two of them. If you're just a like an outsider who doesn't really know bowling, yeah, oh, that's true. Yeah, but if somebody's carrying a two sixty average and they're not on the tour, I don't know what the fuck they're doing. Two sixty is not an average somebody carries. Two forties now, honestly, two forties. There are a couple, two or three or four guys in town that carry two forty. Really, that, that's yeah, still which insane. Is, uh, in the, it's it still is insane. As far as I hear you throw up, I figured you probably carried a higher average than that. Oh God, no! I'm right around probably like two twenty. Hmm. Wow, two twenty five, I think now. And you're a good bowler. No, so good I mean, bowler. so I've been told. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, anyways, anyway, you're the only guy I know who's actually bowled a three hundred game. Wow. And you bowled several, it sounds like. I have. In like other states, apparently that's a big deal. But in Wichita, Kansas, a lot of people bowl three hundreds. Yeah. Like once um, a with week. the newer equipment and stuff, it's pretty much a regular thing all over. Now. Yeah. I mean it, it it's not uh the and I game is bowling. not as skilled and I hate to say that, but man, the guys back in the day that were throwing fucking rocks. Rocks, they were uh <laughs> they were way better than I mean Yeah, Fred you still have to was, be was a G. You still have to be pretty consistent and you have to be able to aim where you want and get the ball to go where you want. But if you can do that, the ball takes over and that's so crazy. But as far as bowling towns go, Wichita's probably oh, other than Reno. Oh, there's like four or five. Michigan's pretty big. That's not a city. Uh, okay. That's, a, that's what a we call state, a state. Yeah. But I mean in yeah. general. Whatever. This is not bowling talk. This is welcome to bowling talk. <laughs> Fuck no. I guess, dude, Way more I'm interesting than asleep. what assholes have to be. Hey, I'm I, almost asleep. That's I, I, I'm, I know. Wow. I, I, dominoes, though. Yeah, okay. That's oh. much better. <laughs> <laughs> fucking kidding no, me. I played dominoes. You think Wichita uh, State has a dominoes oh, team? No, 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 trust me. You will enjoy it. Uh, I played dominoes with my family, and I played with my wife, uh, and she sat to my right. Uh, and she fucked me so many times in that game of dominoes. It was it should have been a crime, and it was so frustrating. She ended up winning. That uh, sounds pornographic. Yeah, <laughs> it kind of did. It sounded really dirty. It's my fetish is dominoes, dominoes and getting fucked. Okay. Uh, but yeah, so we did that. I had I still was a is lot that of fun. Why you're in the shit mood? No, no. No, that is not why I'm at why I'm in my shit mood. I should actually be in a great mood. Well, it ought to be. Um, but uh, no, I'm in a shit mood because yesterday I uh, played some fantasy football as we do, and I should have won and gay. got beat. That's beats. why you're upset. You're the so, lo- and I'm the gay one. The worst possible way to. Oh, it's God. so stupid. But we'll you get got to that. beat like like uh, the Bills. <laughs> <laughs> because <laughs> the worst possible. Because way possible. I had a lot yeah. of the Bills. Uh, there uh, you go. But anyways, uh, but no, I uh, and the other thing as far as DraftKings fantasy that I play, I actually won. Uh, this was be my like seventh or eighth week in a row to where I have won. Uh, which guess what, JP? You know what that gave me enough money to do. Did you pay off your snowboard? That snowboard is bought, and it wow. will be here tomorrow. Oh, right on. Oh, yeah. Sweet. yeah. I'm super excited to see it. Did you purchase a snowboard on installments? No. Like layaway Renaissance style? <laughs> no. <laughs> Renaissance style. No. It got, it, it got into a weird situation because it's a very, very specific thing that I want, and I want the exact one. It's probably one of the higher tech boards that you can buy. Uh, which it's that, a piece of fucking wood. No, it's very, with a very slick complicated. bottom to it. Uh, I'll make you a fucking snowboard. It is okay. It's a Ferrari for a snowboard. So think of it that way. They only make a certain amount in a certain amount of sizes. So I was checking and checking and checking just to make sure, and then it got to the point to where there was maybe two websites that had my size, and I had to break down and make the purchase. They don't make them that small. Uh, I mean, I, I got a tiny the, little guy. I got to do toddler sizes. Give me a popsicle stick and some glue. I'll make you a fucking <laughs> snowboard. Yeah, I know. Uh, but yeah, so I broke down and I bought it and it'll be here tomorrow and I just can't fucking wait. So that'll be the last day that that black snowboard uh, sitting down there is going to be on the show. We don't have mountains here. I know we don't. <laughs> we got hills. We barely though. have are hills. You, are you just going to go up like on those exit ramps <laughs> yeah, on, on yeah. the side of the street with the kids and their fucking toboggans? He's maybe gonna be there maybe even when it doesn't snow. I mean, I think it's a, it's going to be a fast enough board so, where I can just do it in grass. Well, well, I hear it's pay, like a Ferrari, a snowboard. It is. It's Ferrari. How much was that one? Uh, not very much. It was not very expensive for a board. Yeah. Yeah. Well, how much is the new one? I don't want to tell you. I got to I want to know. I think the people want to know. It's DraftKings expensive. Draft, it's DraftKings expensive, so that's not good. 
I don't want to do is this. Like less it's than so- two grand. Yes, it's less than two grand. Oh well, then what are you worried? Like twelve hundred bucks? Uh, w- with shipping. No, that's that's not prob- bad. probably a little bit less than that. Actually, that's okay. No, it, if you get into a thousand dollars for a snowboard, I that's mean, I'm fucking sh- yes. ridiculous. Yeah, it's a lot. But look, I spend three hundred dollars a pop for bowling balls. Yeah, and that board, which right I there ordered was- one la- last night. <laughs> <laughs> I was not going to do it again. You but. can't talk shit on me <laughs> at all. Oh, I've can't spent, do it. I've Except spent. he gets use out of those, Scotty. I That's do. That's true. There are bowling alleys here. That's As true. I may or may not have already said, there's no fucking mountains here. <laughs> <laughs> But that just makes me want to go more often. So now we're even thinking about doing a trip in December uh, for Christmas, which if I can be in the mountains for Christmas and okay, not so around family, that's what I'm looking you for. you got to add that expense in, too, because that's, oh, yeah. that's fair. Travel time, book, okay, uh, good. lift tickets, okay. well, all then that we're shit. probably pretty close. We're going to get, yeah, okay. get there. Good yeah. enough. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I am, uh, very, very excited. good, man. Congrats. I'm yeah. super happy for you. Uh, but other than that, man, uh, I am going to be up at, uh, at that Vorche's lounge, I believe tomorrow night. No, it is not at Vorche's. It's, it's not. A, it is at God damn it. The Shriner place, right? Temple it's Live. Oh, first, t- Temple, yeah, Live. Temple, Temple Live. Live. That's right. I forgot that they, they moved it for the, uh, is it semifinals? Semifinals, semifinals and finals. I yeah. Believe. For the uh, funniest person, funniest person in Wichita, Kansas. Uh, so I'm excited to go and see our, uh, our buddy Derek made it through. And so he'll be, he'll be performing. So I'm going to go and watch, awesome. watch him, see how he does. Hope he crashes and burns, but um, <laughs> he will. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I love him. But anyways, uh, but yeah, that is, uh, that is my week. Uh, I'm, I'm Jeremy. How, uh, how have you been? Like shit. Uh, really? I'll be honest with you. Um, okay. I learned the importance, uh, not last week, but the week before of uh, maintaining good posture when doing DDP yoga. Oh, really? What, yeah. What'd you do? I, I pulled a muscle in my back. Nice. And had to go to physical therapy, which they s- were very strenuous that I needed to stop doing the DDP yoga for a while. And then they gave me a list of exercises, and it's just DDP yoga. <laughs> That's what the fucking rehab yeah? exercises are. It's, I, And I looked at it, and I'm like, he had me do them uh-huh. s- to make sure I was doing them correctly. And it's like, yeah, this is the shit I did when I hurt my back. <laughs> what is JP thinking over like, here? I don't know. You know how many fucking times I've asked him to do DDP yoga with me? And he won't fucking do it. And what? now I find out he's doing it without me. Well, it's because he's weird. No, that's DPP. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, my bad. Extra P. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm sorry. Yeah. I didn't hear the extra P in there. Yeah, no, right. it, it's an extra D. Well, good. whatever it is. God, I don't know. We could probably get two Ds in there. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you have to push harder, but it, it, it could happen. Yuck! So it's apparently a raccoon will fit in there. If <laughs> oh, fucking, my God. I don't know. Serious? Crazy. Wow. Yeah. That's, uh, yeah. All right. That's enough. When... Many, many years ago, I'll tell you a story. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I had a job working for uh, Roto-Rooter. <laughs> okay. Worked for Roto-Rooter for about six months. Right on. And uh, the grossest thing, I pulled a fucking dead bloated raccoon out of a fucking sewer clean out once. Oh, wow. gross. Yuck. No. Yeah, yeah, it was. No. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Uh, have you ever seen a bloated raccoon? Well, uh, once. I mean. I'm not talking about the, uh, the what do you call it, the Urban Dictionary. Yeah, thing. No. I, I gave my wife a bloated raccoon. The other day. <laughs> Stuffed it in her pipe. I sure did. Right in her sewer clean out. Right in her sewer clean out. <laughs> now I've done that. Did you use a pump? Mm, didn't have to. Okay. Use a snake. Yep. Snake it out. Every day. Right. Oh, uh, so anyways, then uh, last Tuesday uh, was the season premiere of uh, Curse of Oak Island. Oh, no. Had a, uh, our good friend Dan the Man yeah. came over, he and his lady nice. friend, and we had a watch party over at the house. You Why guys, wasn't I invited? Well, you were recording, number one. Oh, yeah. Uh, also, I didn't want you there. <laughs> <laughs> if we're really being honest with each other. Fair. Yeah, we, we just have room for two more people in <laughs> the house, it. and that's it. <laughs> But he's right. I mean, with all the Christmas trees up now. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Makes a good point. <laughs> he's going to walk down gotta, his yeah. basement sideways. Just kind of hobble down there. Uh, yeah. It's all right. It's getting ridiculous. Right? <laughs> well, it's almost Christmas, Jeremy. So uh, I was a little disappointed they didn't find it. <laughs> <laughs> I thought they would the first episode of the season. 
I thought for sure. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they've had the entire off season to think about where to look. Yeah. <laughs> How do they not find it yet? Uh, Dan made up these bingo cards with commonly used phrases <laughs> on there. So we, we played Oak Island bingo. Oh, we watched no. it. it was actually kind of fun. Oh. Um, the only phrase that he had put on any of the cards that didn't come up oddly enough was, um, Oh God damn it. What's the, the, the one that the, me and you make fun of all no, the time. Where, where the fuck it's at? Uh, Oak Island. Well, Nova Scotia, Nova Scotia. That was the only thing that didn't never got said in a two hour episode. So, uh, here on Oak Island, how many times was that said? Too many. Yeah. I can tell you that. I didn't <laughs> count. It, that actually wasn't on the bingo card. Oh, it should But be. I can tell you it was said too many fucking times. <laughs> that should be the free space. That was a two-hour episode with an hour and a half of recap. <laughs> uh, Great. Thank yeah. you. Now glad, I've avoided glad it. Glad we have <sighs> guests over. Yeah. So uh, then uh, Sunday, uh, my wife wanted to go see the Marvels. Okay. So we went and watched that. Boy, does it suck. <laughs> Boy, I knew it was coming. I, yeah. Here's the thing is everybody was all, I w- certainly was all prepared for a bunch of woke nonsense because uh-huh. that seems to be the whole reason that they made it. Uh-huh. And as much as I hate that kind of shit, I do also understand like the importance of inclusiveness with all this. It is important for people to see people who look like them being heroes. Um <laughs> That really had very little to do with it. They just made a really bad fucking movie. Yeah. Cool. It just sucked. <clears throat> it did nothing to advance the Marvel plot line at all. And um, I don't recommend it. <laughs> okay. New Marvel movie? No. And, yes. uh, and it's owned by Disney, isn't it? Um, that, yeah, 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 yeah. MCU. Yeah, yeah, sure. okay. yeah. Yeah. They ruin a lot of things. They do. They've ruined Star Wars. They've ruined Indiana Jones. And now they've ruined this. Of course, they've <laughs> always owned this. And. For a long time, like 22 movies did a pretty good job. Mm -hmm. And then they just sucked out. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Did you watch any new murder documentaries, Jeremy? I don't believe so. No? Okay. Watch more survival cabins. I've been watching a lot of Gordon Ramsay, too. Oh, yeah. Love Gordon Ramsay. Now, I do not like like the Hell's Kitchen and the uh, Hotel Hell and shit like that. I just like his instructional videos. I've found that if anybody with a British accent is giving me instructions on anything. I'll watch it. They know what the fuck they're (laughs) doing. Well, he sure thinks seems to think he does, but now there's this feud between him and some Asian chef on TikTok. Yeah. Where this Asian guy is just taking him apart. Nice. It's, he sounds like that emotional damage, dude. It might be the same guy. Emotional but, damage. Right. That, that <laughs> it might guy. be that guy. It might yeah. be that guy. <clears throat> He's sitting there watching Gordon Ramsay cooking shit. Going, oh, you don't saw it now? <laughs> to my soul! <laughs> <laughs> Just fucking criticizing everything he does. But they go back and forth, and that's a lot of fun. All right. Um, what else have I been watching? That's pretty much it. Uh, I I don't... The main, main reason why I said murder documentaries, I found another show that has like... Uh, like people being caught in the act. And it still shocks me that of murder, like they're in mid stab. Yes. Nice. Yes. So it, it has absolutely shocked me that we definitely as a human species have evolved from the checking to see if nobody's around before committing a murder. But since the invention of video cameras, we have mm-hmm. yet to evolve past the point of checking to see if there's a camera pointed directly at you well, when you are committing a murder or crime. Well, that's the thing there is now. The, you don't have to. You don't, yeah, you don't have to look. You just have to know. Yeah, you're on camera. And then the whole Period. show is kind of anticlimactic because they're like trying to build up the suspense. Yeah, you know, well, they I have just the, saw the motherfucker. Do they, it. they have the family that's telling uh, all these stories about how much of a good person this person who mm, got murdered oh, is, yeah. and they're still waiting for feedback from the from the video that's posted up on the wall. And so the, you don't even ask who was there. You just kind of look around corner bam camera instead of going up to a meth head and asking them and depending on them hey who was the person that was here (laughs) oh he's about anywhere from five six to six five he's kind of blackish whitish guy i think it was tony the tiger (laughs) probably was no now it's just like video evidence and then they find the video evidence and they go hey i know exactly who that is that's jeff well he's probably skipped town let's go check jeff's house holy fuck guess who's there Jeff. I mean, and that's and that's the episode. So fucking Jeff. Fucking Jeff. Fucking Jeff. Here's, here's it's what's always weird. Jeff. 
is not only do I very, very vividly remember before that was the thing with, with the video cameras everywhere, I remember a time very distinctly when DNA evidence wasn't really wasn't a thing. Yeah. yeah. So it used to basically be as long as you weren't still there when the cops got there, mm-hmm. you got away with it. Pretty much. As long as, I mean, you did take a look around and make sure nobody was looking. Yeah. That's, uh, you were getting away with murder. Yeah. Because all you had to say was, yeah, I didn't. <laughs> yeah, 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 I didn't. <laughs> Prove. I mean, there were so many fucking loopholes for people to get around. That's how BTK escaped the police for so fucking long. OJ. Uh, OJ. BTK <laughs> got himself caught. Yeah, he was now, an idiot. Yeah, he's an idiot. Now there's there's guys now who they're going back into old cases and yep. getting the DNA. And how bad would that suck to think for the last 40 years I got away with that shit? And then all of a sudden, surprise, <laughs> the Golden State Rapist. Yeah. yeah. Somebody got that, that guy who'd been killing all those people in New York, those yeah. hookers in New York. And, but they say that there are somewhere between 150 to 200 active serial killers at any one time yeah. in the United States. Most of them probably over the road truck drivers because um, they can sense. come into town, kill, and just leave, and nobody questions why you're getting out of town. You're, Yep. You're hauling shit. That second cousin does it fucking 23 and me, and all of a sudden, mm-hmm. you're behind bars, bitch. That's what you get. Uh, but anyways, I uh, hope everybody had a great week. Uh, you were done, right, Jeremy? I'm just sorry. I'm assuming. I shouldn't have assumed. I apologize. Yeah, I was done. I'm just kind of worried about my second cousin now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking maybe we won't, won't be extending that invite to Thanksgiving. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, yeah, well, I'm. I mean, I never killed anybody, but I have graffitied. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's pretty bad. I'm spitting Offensive in the paint. things too. Oh no! How I dare I said he? somebody sucked. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, anyways, uh, before we kick off the show to the headlines, uh, I do have to ask you listeners a big favor. Uh, I found out uh, that something very, very big in the promoting of our shows to other people who have never listened to them before is Spotify reviews. If you can, do me a favor, pause this episode right now, go and give us a five-star review. That helps spread the show. Uh, And if all of you do it, holy fuck, that'd be a very, very helpful thing. We would appreciate it very, very much. That'd be like 12 reviews. Yeah. Can you imagine where that would take us? I can honestly That's say. That's short of a baker's dozen. If, yeah, if oh, we yeah. had a total of 12 people listening to this show. That's true. There's not We that wouldn't many. be doing this anymore. Right. We'd be in fucking Hollywood. <laughs> fuck. Yeah, we could. I could have <clears throat> retired. I would have <clears throat> never left the show. Yeah. We had that kind of audience. My right. goodness. Anyways. But thank you guys very much for doing that. That helps us out a lot. Uh, appreciate it. But. Let's get on to the headlines because we have a lot of stuff to talk about. I'm not going to talk about every little thing, so don't be too terribly pissed. But Really? Because um, that's what an asshole would do. I'm, well, <laughs> hi, here I am. Um, but we're going to kick this off with uh, we had another early morning game uh, for the NFL over in Germany. Frankfurt. Right? Boy, and it was a fucking barn burner, too. Sorry about that, guys. Yeah. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Man, that was uh, probably really hard to watch. Uh, 10 to 6, right? Uh, it was uh, Colts 10, Patriots 6. Yeah. I mean, if you're going to go over to some place where you're trying to get as many new NFL football fans, the first thing I'm going to do is get you a great game to watch, which they did. They had the Miami Dolphins and the Chiefs the week before. Excellent game, a lot on the line. Uh, and it turned out, oh, okay. Uh, but then if you're going to double up on it, give them another good game. You know, like all of the other games that were in the United States over the last week. But there were no. people in that stadium going, why did they complain about soccer being low scoring? Yeah, yeah that's exactly. right. Exactly. Yeah. I thought the same thing. I was like, man, uh, I thought soccer was boring. I know. And I got up early in the morning to watch that pile of shit. So, uh, yeah, congratulations to the Colts on their mm. 10 to 6 victory. If you like punts. Woo, yeah, it was good. <laughs> hey, you know what? They like rugby over there. It's kind of similar to that. So, yeah. You never know. Sure it is. Yeah, it is. Uh, but uh, moving on, uh, ESPN's, uh, or I can't even know if it's Fox Sports, but uh, Shannon Sharp made the comment that Lamar Jackson currently has uh, just as many turnovers as he does touchdowns, but no one is saying anything because the Ravens are winning. However, over the weekend, they ended up blowing a game against the Cleveland Browns, which was an excellent game to watch, if you ask me. Um, but are you concerned at all with the Ravens and do you think that they're because they are I believe right now they're the number two seed if I remember correctly two or three um, to make the playoffs in their division do you think or in their 
conference. Do you think that uh, the Ravens should be worried about their play from Lamar Jackson? What? Jeremy? I don't. I don't even know what that question was. Was that in English? It was. I mean, it was words strung together with a question mark at the end. So and you kind of had an upturn. Are, are you asking me if I'm concerned? Because, yeah, there's nothing more that I think about <laughs> than Ravens football and Lamar Jackson. No, it Lamar keeps me Jackson, up at night, that Lamar, and the insomnia. But. <laughs> the Ravens and Lamar Jackson are probably one of the better teams in the NFL right now. But when you look Doesn't at it, sound the, like they can beat the fucking Browns. <laughs> but they lost to the Browns. But do you think that that's kind of concerning whenever you look at the face of your team and everybody who is considering to have an MVP season, but when you look at his actual numbers, he currently has 10 touchdowns, he's thrown five interceptions, and he's actually fumbled the ball five times, but he's only lost two. So, Shannon Sharp, get your stats right. Um, But that's kind of a... Ooh, take that, Shannon. (laughs) Yeah, like he's going to give a shit. Um, but, I mean, does that concern you going in? Ultimately, the only stat – I mean, stats anymore, the way we keep track of stats is mostly for fantasy football players. Yeah. The only stat that really matters is wins and losses. Correct. If you're winning and your team is in good position, I don't think you change things up. No. I mean, and what, what change can they make? Well, they can't make any kind of changes. I just don't know. My, I guess, do you think they're overrated at that point? Do you think that these this is still going to be one of the better teams in, the, in, in their conference that's going to be going deep in the playoff run? Or do you think they're going to be one of the teams that gets upset by a newer team? I don't think that they're a very serious threat to win the AFC. I don't either. But... but I think they will make the playoffs. For I, sure. Oh, yeah. I think they'll make the playoffs. But, like, I could see the Pittsburgh Steelers being a team that pisses everybody off, including myself, that steals wins, and they pull off something like that in the playoffs. How in the fuck are they 6-3? and three? Have no fucking – because I, cause I talk shit on them uh, one week. One week, I talk shit on the Steelers and their fans, and every ever since then, ever since that day, they have – Pulled games out of there. They're the actual Steelers, the S T E A L E R S. They fucking make me mad. I mean, that is the most unimpressive, impotent offense that I can remember on a winning team. Yep. And it's not like they had just a absolute shut down defense. And the games that they've lost, they've lost bad. Mm-hmm. But for some reason, yeah, they keep keeping the team in close. And then uh, what's that fucker? Pick it. Oh, yeah. Pick it. Yeah. Yeah. Can you pick it? He'll make some kind of last second heroic throw, like the only good pass he throws in the entire game. Of course, isn't he injured now? <clears throat> yeah. He's kind of, I mean, he's, he's kind of in and out. I, I don't know that it really matters. I don't either. Because he's really just such an average, unimpressive quarterback. I agree. Yep. Uh, but anyways, uh, moving on to the game last night. Uh, well, I, I said last night. I, uh, as this episode comes out, it will be on Monday Night Football. Josh Allen and the Buffalo Bills. Are we hitting the panic button? They end up losing to the Denver Broncos, Mr. Uh, JP, his team. That's it. Uh, they end up losing in a last second yeah. deal. Yeah, you hit the fucking panic button. On it's the Broncos. <laughs> I know. I'm a fan, and I'm fucking shocked. The like, Buffalo Bills are currently five in five. Yeah, well, all you got to do is make the playoffs. But to do that, I think they're going to pretty much have to win out. Yeah, they end up firing their offensive coordinator. And the really scary thing is, is if you look to if you look in the future at their schedule, they have to play the Kansas City Chiefs and they have to play the Philadelphia Eagles. Who else is in there? We division? beat the Chiefs, the though. Miami Dolphins, uh, the the Dolphins, the Jets, and I'm missing another team, but that's okay. Um, but yeah, they're in the. Um, they're in the East, so that's that's, that's that. weird. Like when they played the Dolphins, who has a high powered offense, they kind of shut them down. Well, I mean their their defense is is kind of wishy washy. They kind of show up sometimes, and then they kind of let the fucking Broncos do whatever the fuck they want to do with them, and that's just kind of the way it well, works. Well, I don't know if we did it. Whatever we wanted to do, I, it, it was pretty. It was pretty. Yeah, Miami, Buffalo, Our New York, and New England. Best. I forgot about New England. Wow. Well, it's easy to do now. That's right yeah. now, it They're is trash. Yikes. I'm so glad. Do you think? Good. Do, you, do you think Belichick retires after the end of this year? <sighs> if he doesn't, I hope he gets fired. I, they're they're it, never going to fire, fire, fire him. I know they can't, they but can't it would be awesome. How how, so. how would that meeting even go? Hey, Bill. Um, thanks Turns for the most the, impressive well, <laughs> championship. Dynasty in the history of the game. He didn't do that. Tom Brady did that. 
we're kind of seeing it now. He but had, he right, didn't but do that. Still, he didn't do anything. Tom Brady did. Uh, it's still tough. No, it's not. Uh, I mean, because it, it, I don't think Brady does as well in in a different system. I that that I agree with that. I'll go with that. Uh, Brady Brady. He only is, has four Super Bowls in another system. Yeah, I was going to say. I, I don't know about that either. <laughs> I still think Brady is by far the best quarterback of all time. He's won the most rings. He has the most championships. I get that. But, uh, yeah, it's tough. But you can't fire Bill Belichick. He has to go out on his own terms, and I don't know if he if he wants to do this anymore. I, he did he it just with looks. Brady and a lot of mediocre players. Yeah. I Other than Randy Moss, I don't recall – Tom Brady really ever having a superstar? Danny Amendola and uh, and Wes those Welker. guys would be average on most other teams. Yeah, they're just really short, quick corners, is what mm-hmm. they are. Um, but when you go back and you look in that division at the Buffalo Bills at five and five, and you also look and, and they ended up firing their offensive coordinator today, uh, which is kind of shocking. Um, but you also look back and you go, man, I don't even know if it was the offensive coordinator's fault with all things considered. Um, Josh Allen has thrown an interception in six straight games. He he's does no not Lamar look, Jackson. He doesn't look good. He doesn't look good at all. I almost wonder if he's not playing a little banged up. You think so? I don't know. Uh, it's just it, weird it's, to see. It's weird to see a guy who was that good and that consistent, yeah. especially with his feet. And he doesn't seem to be making a lot happen with his feet this year. Yeah, he's, he's, he's a little bit more timid. I guess that, that could be a possibility and just not letting everybody know about the injury. But I can honestly say, as being like one of the best quarterbacks, uh, he sure is not acting like it. So, oh, well. Straighten up, Josh. <laughs> yeah. Play uh, right, you dickhead. I am excited, however, for this week this monday night football we have coming up this week uh the kansas city chiefs uh versus the philadelphia eagles on monday night football this week i think philly's gonna fucking destroy them after the last okay jeremy what do you think i don't know you don't know i mean philadelphia should win this game okay but who knows i'm with i'm with jp on this i i think this is this is how you tell yeah um and i think they know where's it at philly at Philly, yeah, yeah, I think Philadelphia wins this, but I think it's close. Um, this is this is kind of my litmus test for for Kansas City. So on Monday night, oh, I apologize, it is in Kansas City. I apologize, um, but still, I, I really do. I would like that apology in writing. <laughs> okay, I, and yeah. I changed my mind now. Just <laughs> write down. I'm sorry, somewhere. Uh, I still think this is the litmus test for Kansas City. They've gotten beat by two teams, which I think are mediocre, which would be the Denver Broncos and the Detroit Lions, <laughs> who are me and JP's favorite teams. How so, dare you call my team <laughs> mediocre, sir? We're far less than mediocre. <laughs> okay, fine. Mediocrity is, is something we strive for. Uh, Detroit's better than mediocre. I've, oh, yeah, dude. You're you're crazy if you think they don't have a shot. They had man. the one real bad loss. Yeah, yeah they did. And, and that Baltimore. happens. And that's it. Yeah, uh, they should have beat Seattle, but they didn't. They're a legit playoff contender, and they yeah. played KC, who was down a couple of very key players. Yeah, yeah, but they and they beat him in Kansas City. I'm proud of them for that. But I still by I, a point. Yeah, still it's a W. It's all that matters. It was the first game. That's right. Year. Um, but the thing is, is I'm not yet convinced that uh, Kansas City can hang with a team like Philadelphia because of their wide receiver uh, group. That's yeah. that's the thing. That's they the, kind of shut down Miami though. I know uh, defensively, but especially if you have somebody like the Philadelphia Eagles and their offense and everything, how it goes, I think it's going to give Kansas City a lot of trouble. Which, so, by the way, that that win over Miami mm-hmm. was vintage textbook Andy Reid. Get way ahead and still make Damn. everybody sweat down to the last fucking yeah. play. That's the way it works. By blowing big three score lead. Yep, and damn near letting him come back and win. Yeah, and that's the way he wins most of his fucking games. This is true. That's why this he's a true. shit coach. Uh, but yeah, that's what my call is for next week. Uh, but now we get to move on to some fun stuff. These are actually some fun things that happened in the in the sports world. Uh, I don't know if you guys have seen this. That's going around the social medias. But a guy named Clay Travis. He's uh, he has his own channel. It's called Outkick Sports. Uh, he made a one million dollar wager that a men's high school state championship basketball team of his choosing would dominate the WNBA championship team. And I am curious, do you think that that is a factual yes. statement? We did you see the team this, he man. picked? Yes, I did. The Nevada state champions 
where they don't have a guy under six <laughs> seven, <Yeah. laughs> and they got a couple of six ten guys on the team. Of course, they would absolutely dominate that fucking game. When did we lose all sense of reality? Because now everybody's getting also they're getting so butthurt about it and just saying like, no, that is a one hundred percent factual statement. There is actually NBA players that are sitting and going, oh, absolutely not. You're fucking ridiculous. And he's just like, I'm paying a million dollars. Let's do this. He's got a fucking, I mean, there's no way, there is no way a WNBA championship team can even hold the jock of a state champion. I mean, I, I believe Vegas. that this team probably has five division one, 100% players on. I mean, this, this isn't your average state championship team. No, this is a, an, a fucking all-star team that, uh, but yes, they would absolutely, I think a lot of of boys high school basketball teams would certainly at least give them a run for their money derby Uh, they're not winning championship basketball dude no but they could still beat the WNBA Uh, probably Probably. that's the thing this is not even this is not even arguable and and here's but here we are I was watching sports center here ridiculous a few months ago yeah WNBA was in season here's a big problem that the WNBA has that okay I don't remember what the situation of the game was. Yeah. But there was a fast break, and Brittany Griner, of all people, oh, yeah. somehow got alone under the basket. They pass it to her. She's six foot nine. So, of course, she, she goes up and she dunks it. Mm-hmm. But it's just a little. At six foot nine, you have no problem dunking. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Rip the fucking rim off. <laughs> yeah. I mean, seriously, give the people a fucking show. Give them something to talk about. You have these opportunities. Nobody there. This is why people watch the NBA and not the WNBA. They are just as much putting on a show as they are putting on a game. I mean, it's, yeah. it, it's not just a sporting event. It is, a, it is a, an event event. It's like kind of going to a fucking concert. You're going to see guys do shit in an NBA game that borders on superhuman. Yeah. Um, Whereas in WNBA, you're going to see things that border on pretty good boys' high school basketball. That's <laughs> yeah. the, I mean, that, it, and if you can't find a way to give the people something to talk about, some reason to come out and see, because they don't want to see your boring ass 45 to 37 game. Yeah. Got to give them something to talk about. Here's, here's and, and this would be a way to do it. Yeah. And, should you pull off the very unlikely, that would be, you know, several tens of thousands for each player on the team. Yeah, exactly. Like double your fucking year salary. 100%. That's where, that's the other place I was going. But like, to so those people who are still doubting and still sitting there thinking like, there is no way you guys are fucking serious about this. I want you to think of Zion Williamson whenever he was a senior in fucking high school. Think about that. He was. I, you fucking think about it. He, he was six foot. Asshole. He was six Don't foot tell me what six. the fuck to do. He was six foot six and weighed like 270 pounds. Yeah. Do you honestly think anybody can stop that man in a high school? I could. Fucking high I, school. I could. I'm very good. No, you fucking crazy people. This is not even fair, but I really hope it happens. I had some hops. Uh, there's no I, way. There's no way great. that the WNBA allows this to happen. No way. There's because no way. If they lose, which they probably will, it would be dumb. But well, be you're it. missing a very key point to this. Uh, the other side of the deal yeah. is if they lose, then they have to put up a million dollars and that goes to these boys scholarship. Funds. I, th- I think he's even retracted that back. Oh, has he? Yeah. He's okay. even retracted that back and he's just like, come on, let's do it. You, you're not losing anything here. You beat me. I get, I pay the, the winning team a million dollars. I either pay the girls or I pay the boys. That's, that's basically what he I said. Mean, given that a lot of these girls go over like to Russia and shit and play not anymore in the off season. Well, they used to, <laughs> I don't think that WNBA can stop this. They during started the arresting them. Huh? They started arresting yeah. them, yeah. I think. Yeah. <laughs> you know, for breaking the law. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but anyways, uh, I hope this happens. It's not going to. I think uh, the WNBA has already stepped in and yeah, saying they're trying never. to save face. But um, just be realistic when you talk about this kind of shit. And don't sit there and stick up for something that you know is absolutely and totally false. And last but certainly not least, there was a person who wanted to uh, have us talk about this, which I thought was absolutely hilarious. Uh, but uh, probably one of my least favorite people in the entire world, Megan Rapinoe. Um, she is a uh, ex-United States women's soccer player. 
Uh, she was playing in her last professional soccer game. And in the first six minutes, she gets injured and tears her Achilles tendon, which really sucks, um, in her final professional soccer game. Uh, but at the uh, post-game interview, she made the quote, she said, I'm not a religious person or anything, and if there was a God, this is proof that there isn't because it's fucked up. And as a, a person who who I, I would say is kind of religious, this is actually proof that there is one. And that's the way I feel about well, it. As, as a, somebody who has been basically just a, just a, a cancer in the world of sports for the last <sighs> several years, um, yeah, I'd say, I mean, for God's sake, I mean, God smited the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah for being sexual deviants. You've been a raging cunt. <laughs> And he hurt your knee. <laughs> yeah. In your last fucking game, he waited to the end of your career. But this statement doesn't make any sense. <laughs> if there was a God, this <laughs> proves that there isn't one. <laughs> That's contradicting statements, it you is. dumb bitch. It is. That's like me saying, if I were wearing pants, this is proof that I'm not. <laughs> I am. Oh. Damn. <laughs> but, I mean. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, it, it's this doesn't mean anything. This is just. This is the final product of a woman who has been allowed to just unleash her fucking dick sucking mouth. <laughs> no, she doesn't. Yeah, she's not sucking any dicks. <laughs> nope. I'm sucking right. way more dicks than she her, is. Her clam munching mouth. <laughs> there you, there you go. go. <laughs> and because she is a woman and people don't want to seem misogynistic, they've just sat there and taken it. Yeah. And now we get this fucking I word I call salad. it the Hillary Clinton effect. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Because uh, ultimately man. she's a loser. That's right, and uh, and she says she's going to leave the country. So good. Oh, bye. Bye. <laughs> so good. I'll help you pack, Meg. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyways, that I'll drive you to the airport. <laughs> no shit. Uh, but I'll get out halfway there and kick her out and make her walk. Anyways, uh, that is. Head- I don't want her to miss her flight. <laughs> this yeah, is true. Make sure she yeah. gets on that flight. Yeah, you're right. I guess that's true. But I'm going to play the national anthem the whole time <laughs> <laughs> on repeat. On repeat. Like, Sorry, I got. I'm I'm, I'm on the patriotic channel. It's stuck. It's the only one I get. Yeah. <laughs> and it's, make it the Roseanne Barr version. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would be fucking awesome. Uh, but anyways, that is headlines for this week. Now we get to move on to the fun, the actual fun part of every single show. And we're going to kick this one off with Never Have I Ever. There you go. I got to say, in this week's Monday Fun Day, there were so many good options. Obviously. because I cut and pasted a lot of them to hold on to net for, for later episodes. So if you don't have one on this week, don't get pissed. It's probably out there, and if I if we liked it, we don't. And you know what? If we didn't save it, it it sucked. So that's that. But by all means, next week post the same stupid bullshit <laughs> that you posted last week, and see maybe this week you know we're in better moods. I don't know. Ah uh, man, I do I do try and look at every single one. I write the show. Uh, normally I start on Tuesday morning. Barry Manilow writes the songs. <laughs> yeah, he does. I make the whole world. Sing. I start writing the show on Tuesday morning. So if you do make a comment like Tuesday afternoon, chances are I'm probably not going to see it. But Tuesday morning, if it's there, I'm looking at it and I'm seeing it. So there you go. Uh, but we've got a couple from for never have I ever to kick this thing off from Instagram dev dev underscore forty seven. He got two of them because yeah. I like them both. Okay. Uh, but anyways, he got the deuce. He's got the deuce. Uh, the first one is a dev dev. That's right. Uh, <laughs> back to back, back to back. Uh, first one, he wants to know, never have I ever forgotten to turn off the mic when talking to someone. I don't tend to use a microphone when talking to people. <laughs> what? Yeah, that that was my question too. Like, I think are we on a CB? No breaker breaker. I okay. So there have been times. I'm just from doing this fucking show <laughs> where I push the record button and some of the shit <laughs> that I at one point in time had, but then thought, nope, that's a little too touchy. I better delete this. But no, have you oh, given the shit on your hard drive? I can never run for office. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> but I mean, like, come on, haven't you act, like not realized that you were being recorded or something and you said something and it kind of like 
bit you? No. Yeah, neither have I. Yeah, no. <laughs> So, I, I mean, great question, I Dev. Dev. Yeah, man, I, I know why you picked him. That's great. We got a two for Tuesday All for right. Dev, Dev. 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 I know for a fact Jeremy himself did not uh, do this, but somebody else did, and it was the very first time you did. You got paid for comedy whenever you had the hot mic, and you gave it to somebody. I can't remember that part of this. Do you know what I'm talking about? Me? Yeah, Jeremy. For the in front of all the the uh, law firm. Oh no, I was very well aware that the microphone was on. <laughs> I, I wanted people to hear. <laughs> yes, <laughs> but anyways, there's that. Mm -hmm. All right, Dev. Dev. Next question. Uh, he wants to know. Never have I ever. <laughs> hey, never have I ever wiped and then sniffed my fingers. Of How course I have. How else am I going to know if I'm ready? <laughs> oh my god, that's disgusting. How no, what's disgusting if you don't do it? Yeah. How am I going to know whether or not to wash? <laughs> what the fuck? No. Listen, if I don't smell nothing, that means I didn't get nothing on there. I don't got to waste soap and water. <laughs> Save the fucking environment, people. That's right. No. Only shower if you need to. Oh, you use your fucking bare hand to, to wipe your ass? Just these two fingers. That's so gross. Yeah, Stop. just fingertips, Scotty. Yeah. <laughs> oh I mean, I'm not like digging in it or anything. I just <laughs> quick swipe, quick swipe, mm -hmm. quick swipe and smell. Oh, that's disgusting. Are you a front to back or back to front guy? Ah. <sighs> Do you go, you go around the back? No, I go around the back, but then I'm a front-to-back guy. You're a front-to-back? Okay. But I reach around to do right. it. Right. Because See? you got to get the whole taint in there, too. <laughs> because what if your asshole doesn't smell, but your taint smells? You know what I mean? Exactly. Like, Thank uh, you. It could, one could ruin the other. Here's my problem. I've got these short little fucking midget arms, so yes. I've got to go to down your, to yeah. the legs like there I'm wiping my puss. So you're back to front. <laughs> right. Because that's really the only yeah, way. Yeah, that's right. really the only way, yeah. Yeah. I'm back to front. Yeah, I thought you just said you didn't do it. I'm going to have to change. No, with toilet paper, yes, I am back you to front. You sniff your toilet paper? Fuck, no. Oh, dude, that's oh fucking my gross. God, that's don't, gross. You don't Come on, man. nasty fuck. You don't have to. I Turn still, off the mic if you're going to say that yeah. shit. Yeah. <laughs> well, don't do that into a hot mic. There is still a question that's out there that has yet to be answered, and I'm not going to do it using Google, but we asked a question, I think, over a year or two years ago, and we asked the question of, how do blind guys know when to stop wiping? Do you know? Well, they have a heightened sense of everything other than their sight. An asshole still always smells like an asshole. At least that's not true. Okay, fine. You're right. You right. should. It's do. it's more like a sixth sense. You ever see Daredevil? Yeah, oh yeah. He can just sense that so, it's on there. So he when can, they're wiping their ass, they have to go out and stand in the rain. They have shit sonar. <laughs> shit sonar. <laughs> They're basically bats. They're, they're like bats. They're a lot like bats. Yeah. It's just, I can just see this guy go. That's raining. I'm going to go outside. He's just sitting there wiping his ass. Little known science Ooh. fact. Bat wings are basically just built in toilet paper. <laughs> okay. That's how they wipe their ass. All right. That's fine. Uh, but anyways, that's disgusting. Uh, in all seriousness, a fucking course I have. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you have. I'm not shocked. Okay, uh, next one, moving on. We're going to go to Facebook. This is uh, from Zach Melkor. He wants to know, never have I ever sped to get home to avoid shitting myself. Not only have I, <laughs> sometimes I've made it, sometimes I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's, it's so, so, like, my, uh, my ex, we were together for like 12 years and we lived about two miles away from his parents. So every Sunday we would go to his parents' house and they would, his dad had a smoker and they'd make ribs and oh, yeah. whatever. I mean, we'd eat every Sunday we'd eat over at his parents' oh, house. Yeah. And I don't know what, why meat does the things it does to me, but <laughs> that's, I thought I, that was your favorite. All of a sudden, I mean, I had to fucking shit so bad <laughs> and I'm kicking him under the table, you know, and I'm like, I am not shitting at your parents' house when we live four blocks that way. I'm going home. I like to shit on my own fucking toilet. <laughs> I'm going home. So he's like, all right, well, you know, um, we got to go. And then, of course, five minutes later, we're still sitting around talking. I'm, I'm like, I kick at him harder. So finally, I just get up. I said, well, we got to go, <laughs> dude. I put the key into the fucking door and then <laughs> I mean I was that fucking close man so then and it was bad I mean like I fucking just right there on the front porch fucking took off all my clothes went right into the house hopped in the shower 
fucking threw, <laughs> told him to grab a trash bag and throw the fucking clothes I was wearing away. Get my wallet out first. Throw the shit away. I, I there's no way we can salvage this at this point. No, you're poor, so, including the relationship. And right, that's why and, he's your ex. and that's why he's my ex. No, <laughs> the, that first, was, the first time, and I don't care if it is my wife who I love very much. First time I got to throw away her shit clothes. Yeah, it's over. We're done. Well, we're done. I could never look at her the same way again. It was his fault. <laughs> yeah. It sure was. Yeah. yeah. Yes, that's that's the thing. When you're driving, I have actually master the art of keeping the legs clenched (laughs) while driving i can work the pedals one pedal with both feet (laughs) well yeah to keep my legs put together it's the walk from the car that's what got me that's that's (laughs) that's what got me like they say loose lips sink ships yeah (laughs) yeah (laughs) i hate to get all navel on you guys Oh, Jesus Christ. Like, it's to just see JP just on the front oh, porch. Man. and then, like, I mean, the minute I stuck the key <laughs> into the fucking... No. I could actually hear the little individual lock mechanisms dropping into place <laughs> as I'm putting the You're key like into the door. Cracker. And then... <laughs> No, it's not even that. It's oh. that you're on the front porch and you dropped your pants like outside. Oh, I just stripped down <laughs> like completely. Like, like, I was covered in shit from the waist down. Oh, you know, like the fucking anti-gay neighbors across the street are like, look at the gay guys again. Oh, the hillbillies across <laughs> yes. the street. Have we, not, have we never talked about them? Oh. I just made a really good guess. Apparently dude, they were awesome. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. They were awesome. awesome. Good. No, awesome. Horrible. people. <laughs> but they were fun to fuck with oh man they were fun oh, we tried to give them our couch when we got new furniture because they had a couch out on their front porch of course not, not, yeah. uh, <laughs> like and, you do. Uh, but it was old and you know whatever but yeah. you know fuck it we were gonna get rid of the thing anyway i said i wonder if the neighbors need a new porch couch and <laughs> travis was like do not go over there and offer them or i was like fuck you i'm going over there so i go over there and i knock on the door and the little girl answers she's probably six She's like, yeah, mister, what do you want? And I'm like, are your parents home? She's like, are y'all home? And they're like, tell them no. And so she goes, sorry, they're not home. And I was like, oh, that's weird. Because <laughs> I could have sworn I just heard them. But I was just wondering if you wanted this couch because uh, – you can put it on your porch, and it's nicer than the one you got now, and we're going to get rid of it anyway. She goes, oh. She's like, mom. Oh. He wants to give us a couch. Doesn't Renee need a couch? You know, like <laughs> so. Then the mom comes to the door, and they took her couch. No, they hillbillies go. love a free couch. Oh, no, they do love yeah. a free couch. Free it's furniture. A, it's like a five. Oh. It's like a five hundred dollar car. No, but they looked at us every time I actually saw them outside. They looked at me like if they got within five feet, they were going to catch it. I mean, <laughs> they were not happy. Uh, it was go. awesome. Uh, but for me, I uh, I have never done this. I, I I mean, I've definitely sped. I've definitely sped to get home to go to the bathroom, but I've never shit myself. Okay, you always made I, it. I've always made it. Wow, I, I, that's you impressive. talked on this show about shitting yourself once. Hold on, I have never sped up. I've definitely shit myself, but oh, that you was follow in a the di- speed limit. Hold on, hold Ten on. Ten and two. <laughs> no, While shitting myself. No, See, belts belts on. Yep. you've yep. got to understand. I have accidentally shit myself multiple times, but that's because I thought it was a fart and it was not a fart no i did that today i have not had to know i'm going how, i know i gotta go to the bathroom and then just shit myself how how bad is that because you did it to yourself <laughs> yeah, yeah you did, <laughs> you did. But by the time you feel the warmth it's too late right? <laughs> it's done it's warm at first and then it's cold <laughs> you're trying to go yeah it's, it's so bad especially if you have passengers they don't want to talk to you at all <laughs> Very cold in that, in that whole vehicle. Oh, that's why I carry spare underwear in my truck. All times. All right. Anyways. They're like jumper cables for you. <laughs> yeah, they are. And I don't have jumper cables. Yeah, you don't have jumper cables. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, he's got a reliable vehicle and an unreliable asshole. <laughs> yeah. Anyways. Next. I hate an unreliable anus. I really <laughs> yeah. do. Me too. Yeah, me too. Me too. Anyways, next one. This comes in uh, from Instagram. This is Fishing Olki. Uh, he wants to know, never have I ever yelled at someone in traffic even though it was my fault. That's the only time I do mm-hmm. yell. Like, it's if I know fault? it's my fault, then I yell louder. Yeah. That way I can try to convince myself that that <laughs> cut, cut me off. <laughs> Fair. He shouldn't have been out on my fucking road. Goddamn right he shouldn't have. <laughs> At that time of day, what was he fucking yeah. even doing there? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, at noon. Yeah. Yeah, it's cocksucker. Ridiculous. 
Yeah, I've done this before. Oh, yeah, I think we yeah, have. Yeah, everybody has. I'm the one that like uses the fast blinker to get around some asshole, and then he uses his blinker just as fast as I did and tries to get out of my way. And it's like, well, make your blinker quicker, goddammit. And that's what ends up happening. It's my and fault. then I will launch into like a 10-minute soliloquy in my car. <laughs> in my car. As yeah. though I am an attorney <laughs> yes. trying to make a case for myself in court. Yep. I have gotten myself out of a lot of court cases by, uh, behind the steering wheel. I don't know about you guys. Uh, so everybody said yes to that one. And uh, last one uh, comes in from Instagram. This is from Curtis Rutherford. Uh, he wants to know, never have I ever taken a shit in a handicap stall making a handicap person use the smaller stalls. A lot of scat t- chat today. Yeah, no it's kidding. We got a lot of poop stuff. Scat chat. Scat chat. That's the name <laughs> of my new that. podcast. That's, that's the name of As a show. segment. Everything about this is, is shit scat related. Scat chat. Yeah. Scat chat. That's or the next it, segment. Is it scat chat or is it scat, scat, scat chat? Or shat chat? Scat chat is, is a whole different thing. Yeah. That's, <laughs> okay. shit, that's when yeah. you actually shit and examine it. <laughs> okay. Which that's going to have to be a different episode when Sketch I'm never on yet. and will never uh, be on again. All right. Sounds good. Uh, but anyways, yeah. What, how about you guys? I don't know. I've never done this. At least I've never done this intentionally. If I accidentally took a shit in the <laughs> you, handicap. If you did it intentionally, you're just the biggest <laughs> fucking prick. Are, are you guys Here comes the handicap guy and you run into the fucking handicap stall. Are you kidding me? Why? Oh, make okay. I didn't see the second part of this. Yeah, yeah. making a handicap. I was gonna say I'll wait on the fucking handicap stall. <laughs> so will I. Because, I want the extra yeah. room. Yeah, leg room. Lots of room, and also like I don't like to on a public toilet. I don't like to touch the toilet. Sure. To my, so I just use the bars on the sides and fucking put a leg up on each bar, <laughs> and then I fucking go that way. So. You don't need DDP yoga when you got a horse <laughs> right. drink like that. Right. That's why you're in such good shape, JP. Yeah. Yep. Oh, uh, God. I, I, yeah, I can't. I, I've never done this, especially intentionally, but I just think it's so it's so funny. Everybody wants the handicap stall, and I think it's absolutely ironic that the handicap stall is the only one that you can run around in. <laughs> so <laughs> there you go. Here's there you the go. thing. 99% of the time, if there is a handicap person waiting, and I've seen this way too many times, it's usually just a person who's really fucking fat. fat. Yeah. Yep, 100% of the time. Okay, well, that is never have I ever. Scat chat. Uh, but now we get to move on to that's where I draw the line. Uh, we're going to kick this off real quick. Uh, this one comes in from Facebook. I like this one, actually. This is uh, from, I'm going to give credit to both. Um, this is from Jacob and Luke oh, Hazen. They're hey. different people. They're no, they don't know each other. No, they're brothers. Oh, they are? Yeah, these are That's brothers. Hot. So uh, the younger brother, Luke. Weren't they the other Dukes of Hazard? Yeah. I think they were. Okay. 100%. Yeah. Jacob and Luke Hazen. Yeah, mm-hmm. but the, here's the Duke. thing. Luke is uh, Jacob's younger brother, and he got Jacob to start listening to the podcast. And so now we got two listeners, and they uh, it sounds like we're sorry. Boy. Yeah. <laughs> to, both, to both of you. No, but uh, I like it. Leave a Spotify review. Yes, yes, please. Um, but anyways, uh, where do you draw the line? How long do you watch your favorite team getting dominated before you turn off the game? Hmm. I can speak to this. Yeah. Uh, I don't turn it off. I keep watching. You keep watching? Yep. Oh, man. No wonder why you're depressed. Yeah, you never know, man. Yeah, you do. You no, you don't. You, Tell that to the fucking Atlanta Falcons. You do. Uh, you do. You do. You know when it's over. Not always. Now, now I was, JP's not a not a baseball. You're not a guy. baseball guy. When I, the, when there's no clock, when it, they it's, start it's putting over. in a fucking <sighs> position player to pitch. Yeah. Right. No. Yeah, yeah, I get that. No, I, I, but I still watch. Oh, that is cruel and unusual punishment. Well, I'm a Broncos fan, so uh, it's yeah. all cruel and unusual punishment. If, I always like when the uh, TV will switch to a more competitive game. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah, they did that. Uh, yeah, that's the best. When the Broncos we're got gonna, we're, on Yeah, them. we're going we're gonna to step away now and take you to a more competitive game, and that's which, exactly Which, what honestly, why would you do that? History is being made right yeah, here. Nobody yeah, living now has ever seen 70 points in a fucking <laughs> NFL game. <laughs> If I were watching a boys state high school team losing to the WNBA champions by 20 points with five minutes left, I'm turning it off. Oh, mm. I think they're just fucking with them. <laughs> they're going to turn it on the last they're, five they're minutes. They're going to show just how maybe much three, they can dominate. Maybe three minutes. But yes, I will turn it off. I, I have no shame. I'm not going to watch that cruel and unusual punishment. 
Uh, next one. Where do you can, can I go for oh, fuck's oh, sake? Oh, sorry, sorry. I'm, I thought you answered. My bad, Jeremy. Well, I mean, I, I gave my point in baseball, I guess. But okay. uh, <clears throat> no, when um, here's my thing. One of my hobbies, and and it's big with Oak Island especially, <sighs> is to hate watch things. And <laughs> I will turn on my fucking team. I'll never stop rooting for them, but I will call them every fucking name in the book <laughs> and just sit there so I have a reason to be pissed. Uh huh. And just. Fuck you, you dumb cocks. Oh, way to go, you dumb sons of bitches. <laughs> N-word will come flying out from time to time. <laughs> oh, shit. No, it Negligent. Won't. Negligent. <laughs> you that guys are negligent. negligent. <laughs> you practice negligently. You are not prepared. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, uh, next one. This comes in from Braxton Lint. Uh, he wants to know, where do you draw the line? If you had children, how long would you leave them alone with the people on the show? <laughs> Zero minutes. With <laughs> never. Me? Yeah, never would I leave Why my not? kid with you. I've seen the way you talk to your dogs. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's mean. Talk about the N word. That gets right. Wow. Yeah, that's hey. what I'm saying, man. I do not. I mean, they're well, dogs, man. I know. They don't know any better. No shit. I can honestly say, if I'm being like truthful, I have absolutely no fears whatsoever if I had kids leaving around JP uh, at all. Like whatsoever, not not in the. Well, why slightest. would you? Huh? Why would you? I don't know. You're a yeah, pothead, you know. Um, yeah, but not <clears> if I'm. I, you know. No, if you, I'm watching the kids, I you, share. You're an exceptional human being. I Thanks, really do mean that. I appreciate that, Jeremy. Wow. I think there has to be like a five hour cutoff. <laughs> not because I think that he's going to. <clears throat> not because I think he's going to do anything irresponsible, but I think five hours is a maximum amount of time for him to teach my child how to do something that causes mm-hmm. minor explosions. Yeah. So that's not where minor. I'm, that's not, not minor. minor. Sorry, major explosions. So I'm going to say five hours around Jeremy Joseph. That's that cool. kid will know how to use a fucking table saw. Yeah, yeah right. That's will. what I was thinking. You end up with a new dining room table sure if you're there for 12. Yeah, but he'll need a new uh, He'll hand. show you where your fucking water shutoff is. Yeah. All kinds of stuff. <laughs> Jeremy Joseph I'll, is. I'll make him into a man. Jeremy and, Joseph and is not in the JP kind of way. Jeremy Joseph is Ron Swanson for laughing on the sidelines. Mm-hmm. That's right. who he is. Yep. Very much. He's our Ron. Uh, how about you there, Jeremy? Well, I would prefer if you didn't leave your children with me. <laughs> I'll, I'll be honest with you. Um, it, it seems like that's something I should consent to. Yeah. Uh, but no, I, I raised a kid. Yeah. And but you well, had to he's leave him fucked up. But, but but you had to leave him around <laughs> us. Oh, no. No. Oh, no. 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 Unless there's a good chance he might take over as host of the show. <laughs> oh, okay. Fine. I mean, I'd do that, that show. Okay. That'd be interesting. All right. Fair. I'd love to do this show without an asshole. Yeah. Well, we've met your son. He's actually come to one of our shows. The live show, yeah. He was there. Yeah. He did. Uh, he said some pretty shocking stuff. He did. Uh huh. He did. But uh, raised him well. That's <laughs> raised right. him well. Okay, uh, next one. This comes in from Derek Blizzinger. I can't remember if it's Blizzing or uh, Blinzinger or Blinzinger. I don't you know. You put an N in there, an I, extra N. <clears throat> I know there That's is weird. one. There's one in there. <laughs> it's not supposed to be. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, he wants to know, how far is too far to drive for a one-night stand? This is a fucking good question. If it's guaranteed one night stand, okay. So am I supposed to say well, this is the furthest I've ever done a done a one? No, like how driven? far would you? If you okay, JP, there is a dude in New York City, and you got to no, get there no, by definitely tomorrow. No, definitely no. Okay, that's right. the that's the so drop. So I've driven to Salina. That's two and a half. No three? hour. Oh, is that hour, an hour? Hour and ten. Oh, that ain't bad at all. No. Well, he was speeding because he had to shit. Uh, but I <laughs> yeah. would I would go to uh, I'd probably that's probably my limit. I would say an hour ish. An hour ish, hour, hour and a half, I think. Because Ooh. look, I've had plenty of one night stands, yeah. and they're not always as great as you think they're going to be. Yeah, so there's got to be. That's some- a long drive home after yeah. fucking getting shit on. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's risky. That's risky. I, I I thought I was going to go up to Kansas City one time for a sure thing, okay. right? For a yeah. sure oh, thing. Well, it would have to be. For, <laughs> that's a three and a half hour drive. It turned out it was not a sure thing, and <laughs> she got absolutely shit faced. And uh, I'm not a you know. Well, uh, then that is a sure person. thing. Come on, dude. Yeah, no. And I'm not. She can't a bad even say person. no. Bad person. I think you. Your eye just. 
twitched even when you said mm-hmm. I'm not nobody a bad believes person. You. Yeah, nobody believes you. Nobody believes that, fucking man. Fucking frustrated because that's why I was there in the first place. Dude, that's a long drive, bro. Yeah, and uh, and she was absolutely drop dead gorgeous, but I, I just couldn't do it. So I uh, that was a two. What is that? Two and a half hours. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's two and a half. So yeah, she had to get to shit faced drunk in order to even consider it. <laughs> She's <laughs> like, he's on his way. I've only got three hours. Let's start <laughs> doing shots, shots, shots. <laughs> uh, but no, and and I determined I will never ever. Oh ever do that again yeah. so i would say i'm with jp with an hour that's yeah long an hour is a little good yep how about you there jeremy uh fuck you you're <clears throat> coming to me <laughs> <laughs> two miles <laughs> i've probably got a nicer place plus i want to show my wife that i'm still desirable to somebody <laughs> fair enough give her a reason to think there's some reason to hang on to me yeah, I bring something to the table right there you go other than the ability to make a new table right <laughs> right <laughs> Okay, and next one. Uh, this comes in from Robert Pletz. He wants to know how much midget porn is too much midget porn. Well, okay. When I was researching for my uh, tragedy mm-hmm. today, I was looking through some different things that have happened. Uh, there was a um, a Japanese guy who they only gave his first name like Roshi. Uh, <laughs> That's, that's Yoshi there. there no, sure. it's, it's well, no, that's it's Roshi. <laughs> that would be Loshi. Oh, Loshi. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Mario um, and Loshi. But they spelled it. And okay. so it was Roshi, and uh, he was found dead in his apartment uh, after being crushed by his stack of uh, porn magazines. <laughs> uh, 13,000 pounds of porn magazines fell on him in his apartment. Another way to say that God does exist. So I don't know that there is too much. Yeah. I guess when it kills you. I guess you, when it kills you, that's, that's it. how you know. You don't know till you know, and then you fucking know. <laughs> and then you're dead. Uh, man, I don't think there's enough of this. These are these are like regular porn for me. So I mean, yeah, like, that's this all is just I watch. No, that's all I've ever watched. This is just normal. Yeah. These are these are people that are my size. So right. I mean, it's just like, no, oh, it's my favorite kind. Yeah, so, I'll stream right. it to the TV like when people are over for Christmas. Yeah, right, <laughs> right. <laughs> no problem. Hey, no, let's turn on Bridget the Midget. Let's do it. Yep. Yeah, some people put on a Christmas story for twelve fucking hours. Some <laughs> some people get that, that that TV image of a fireplace. I uh, put on Midget's fucking. That's right. Now, to be midget porn, does it have to be midget on midget, or can it be midget on reg? I would prefer midget on midget, but if you got a midget on reg, it just... That's uh, better. Doesn't midget on midget seem like it would just be regular porn just right. shrunk down? <laughs> exactly. Like honey, maybe I, I, honey which, I shrunk the porn. Which yeah. is my All porn. I gotta do to fix that is get a bigger TV. <laughs> yeah. I want, I want some disparity. It's my porn, though. I want what? that. Look at that little I have guy. A you giants. I have a 75-inch TV, yeah. so it's like real size. You mm-hmm. giants out there have have a way larger anatomy than what makes me feel comfortable about myself. So okay. yeah. I'm going to go with, yeah, those are yeah. my people. That's cool. Anyways. All right. Uh, call it the lollipop guild. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, last one. Where do you draw the line? This is from uh, Keith Stuckey. He wants to know, when should you stop referring to your child's age in months? This pisses me off so badly. <laughs> I, I We've this talked about this before, and I know how me, mad this, this makes, makes you, dude. This makes me so angry. You're making me do math. <laughs> no, I don't care it's, if it's math or not. I swear to God, because what the hell, this is what pisses me off, is because if once they get past uh, 12 months, you call it a year. The one that makes me okay. Here's the thing. There's a big difference between 15 and 18 months. Hang on. That's not the one that absolutely irks my fucking shit. It is when I go, well, how old is your baby? And they say 13 months. I'm going to fucking hit you. That drives me absolutely bonkers. It's a year old. It's a fucking year old. And just leave it at that. It drives me so crazy. (sighs) That's where I draw the line a year. And you know what? I'm not that upset if you say, and it's like, it's 15 months. If you say 15 months, it's like, okay, that's a little bit more understanding. But if the person that says it's 13 months old, I'm fucking, I'm so angry. That makes me so mad. Jeremy? Can I go back and correct how long I would leave my child <laughs> with you guys? Jesus Christ. 12 months. 13 Don't months. do it for 13 months. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's how long I would leave. 13 months. Anyways, you guys go ahead. Months or months? 
months. M U N T S. Oh yeah, yeah. Thirteen months. <laughs> oh, I thought it was monks, like Tony Shalhoub. <laughs> <laughs> monks. I would leave him with Tony with thir- Shalhoub. Yeah, yeah, for and, sure. And let him do the math. Absolutely. Uh, when he's old enough <clears throat> to drive. <laughs> okay. That's when you stop. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. That's, that's just given that age in months sounds so much more impressive. That's like that's like British people giving me their height in centimeters. It's just like it doesn't make fucking sense to me. It just doesn't compute. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm with you. A year Ugh. after a year. Yeah, after stop. a year. Okay. Anyways, that's where we draw the line. Thank you guys so very much for your guys' uh, inputs. Uh, we got more of them still to come. Uh, but now we get to come. Or now we get to move on to. Uh, oh man, one of your guys' favorite parts of every single episode. He is on. If there are good enough options to use, uh, and this is bad advice with Jeremy Joseph. I really did forget I was supposed to do this. I- I've come up with a couple of things. Yeah, it's okay. You know, uh, we're just going to roll with it. Um, but I, I have no shortage of bad advice. No, absolutely. This could get real bad. Tons of it. Uh, <laughs> but this one comes in from a buddy of mine, Frank Garcia. Uh, he writes, Dear Jeremy, I coach junior high football, and we only won one game this year. How do I motivate my team next year to win more games? Well, there's two ways, really, to... To motivate kids. Uh, positive reinforcement and negative. Positive reinforcement is otherwise known as a bribe. Uh, if I really had to look to somebody for positive reinforcement, I got to go with the great former Oklahoma football coach, Barry Switzer. Uh, get him hookers and, and, and cocaine. That's, <laughs> that's the way he recruited, and they won some championships. <laughs> So uh, you might want to look at that. Now, I can understand why you wouldn't want to give children hookers and cocaine. It's expensive. (laughs) Uh, So I would go with the negative reinforcements. Find ways to shame them. Uh, You know, really do some negative things. Like if they lose the game, tell them the next practice, there's no water. You're going to have to drink maple syrup. (laughs) Uh, If they lost the prior week, tell them they got to wear Crocs on game day. (laughs) Or I think maybe the worst thing that you can do that'll really motivate them, um, bring Scotty in to talk to him <laughs> and tell him, uh, if you don't want to wind up like this fucking guy, you better start winning some goddamn games. <laughs> That's probably the best thing you can do. And Scotty's more than willing to do it. I'll go ahead and uh, give you his phone number now. It's uh, 316. Uh, uh, nope, no. nope. Oh, okay. Yeah, please don't. Well, anyways, uh, contact Scotty to have him talk to your team. And That's my <laughs> advice. Thank you very much. My pleasure. Oh, God. Actually, uh, he actually already has my phone number, so it's okay. God damn it with that fucking pen. <laughs> I missed that. That's the only thing I missed about this. Uh, anyways, but that is this week's uh, Bad Advice with Jeremy Joseph. Uh, appreciate it, Frankie. Hope hope that helps. Uh, I'm sure it will. Yeah. How could it not? The hookers and blow works every time. Oh, for sure. It works in the pros. It worked in college. It's got to work in junior high. For sure. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. It's special, that'll really improve their 40 times. 100%. Yeah, <laughs> you put the hooker at the end? Is that what you do? In the end zone? like Yeah. yeah. Run to her. Yeah, exactly. But that would get pricey. Yeah, it would. That it really would. would. Man, like $500 an hour. It's ridiculous in nowadays. I don't know. What the fuck hookers are you getting? <laughs> oh, shit. Those are what we would Jesus like to call Christ. escorts, I think. Yeah, I think you're <laughs> shopping at the wrong hooker store. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> uh, yeah, the- you're, get, you're not... These aren't fancy kids. No. no. You get them street walkers, dude. Yeah. yeah. Man. No, dude. I'm talking about like I'm talking about the super snowboards is what I'm talking no, no, about. No, no, no. We're <laughs> talking Ferraris We're talking hookers. Broadway and Mount Vernon. <laughs> okay. Yeah. They don't know what that's like. Well, it's not good. <laughs> <laughs> These are Waffle House hookers. Yeah. yeah. I mean Same place sure. you get that maple syrup from. <laughs> yeah. These are the Two people. Birds. These are the people that Derek had uh, was called a warlock by. That's basically yes. what these right. are. Mm. Yeah. Uh, anyways, uh, now we get to move on to uh, Jeremy's favorite part of every single episode. This is questions and Spanish questions or pregnant, pregnant quen- questions, quen- pregnant questions, uh, preguntas, uh, all of those things. Um, and we've got quite a few of them from you guys. Uh, again, appreciate all of the, uh, the suggestions. Uh, but the first one comes in from Instagram. This is from Wolf Rob X. Uh, he wants to know rejected names for WD forty. I can tell you what the rejected name is. It actually WD39? is thirty nine. 
<laughs> I was going to say WD-41. <laughs> well, uh, it is water displacement rejected 40 times. That is what it's, you, it was the 40th. It's attempt. the 40th attempt is what water displacement number it, 40 is what it is. It was used to create a, uh, a rust proof barrier on mm-hmm. the Atlas rockets because they used uh, liquid O2 as their oxidizer. And that's like negative 275 degrees yeah. Fahrenheit. So you put that in the humid fucking you know, Florida air mm-hmm. and it builds up on there and makes ice and they needed a way to keep it off. Cause, yeah. Cause for some reason, the Atlas rockets, it's like, we're not going to paint them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why? We're going to use them once. So, uh, yeah. Fuck the paint job. Fuck the paint job. Uh, but no, like metal lubricant, uh, I thought, uh, because I mean, you call things lube and I think you're putting it in the wrong places. Well, it's not a lubricant. It's, a it's penetrant. not. It's a penetrant. I was yeah. going to say that. I was going to say. Well, that would be more for JP yeah. is mm-hmm. what I'm saying. Well, he likes penetrants. Exactly. That's mm-hmm. kind of what I figured. But he prefers they to have lubricant on that, them. Is it pretty I, would, high, I don't know. High I don't know what he likes. Content. It comes with that nozzle, so you can kind of get. Which is great <laughs> because otherwise, you know, I like that you, that I can put it in one concentrated spot. Yeah, exactly. You just get Wherever the, you're having the most rub. Yeah, clean the walls out yep. if you were. Oh, yep. my God. Yeah, you go to JP's for a one-night stand. You don't bring liquid wrench. <laughs> and so I guess my answer is colon cleanser. <laughs> okay. Apparently. Uh, and Jeremy, you already answered. No. Oh, okay. Well, uh, yeah. Rejected names for WD-40. Uh, F-U-S-O-B. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> I really feel like that wouldn't have gone over well at NASA. <laughs> yeah. Even though that's kind of what they were trying to do with the Russians. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but it would have worked. Sure. Uh, man. Yeah, it, it works all the same. Doesn't matter what you call it. That's right. It'll keep the ice off those rockets. Okay. Uh, we're going to move on to the next question. That next one we're going to save for last. Uh, next question comes in from Curtis Rutherford again. He's uh, he's making his second appearance on the show. Look at Curtis Curtis go. going, man. Go, Curtis, go. Um, it, uh, should we start pr- mispronouncing his name just to not give him as much credit? Curtis Ruth Orford. Ruth Orford. Okay. Ruth Orford. Ruth Orford. Okay. Ruth Orford. Uh, he wants to know... Uh, rejected items for the 12 days of Christmas song. <laughs> 13 midgets munting. <laughs> so, <laughs> hey. But that's that's the 13. That's it's Okay, fine. 12 midgets munting. Okay, that's better. Now, that's an acceptable amount of munting okay. midgets. <laughs> yeah, it's got to be an even number. Yes. I understand. You can't go odd numbers yeah, on those. No odd or prime numbers, I guess. No. I wonder if they got any midget munting down at Vegas Video. I'll guarantee they <laughs> do. 100%. For sure. How about you, JP? You got anything? Um, One giant black cock. <laughs> oh, my God. Why? Because I like them. I'm, no, I know you do. It's okay. And it's supposed to be the best gift. Is get it, it on that first day, and then you're good. Okay. All right. You know, uh, get that, that last. Far? You think you're not going to get it. How far you would go you travel through, for it? Uh, an hour. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, how about you, Jeremy? Well, it's a well-known fact on uh, the 12 days of Christmas. They give it a lot of birds, but I think they got to draw the line at some of the bigger ones, emus and, and ostriches. Yeah. Flamingos, maybe. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, you give somebody a flamingo that's not plastic. <laughs> <laughs> that relationship's over. Four. And, and I think if you give them one that is plastic, that relationship's that probably over. over. Four flamingos fighting. There you go. Oh, have you ever seen flamingos fight? They fucking hit with their beaks like like a hammer. Do they do it on one leg? I don't know. They call that crane technique, which is weird. <laughs> they got to go flamingo. <laughs> they should. Absolutely, they should go flamingo. I've gambled at the flamingo. Does that count for anything? 100%. Okay. Yeah, drop the hammer with your beak. Uh, all right. Uh, uh, don't worry about it. I, I can't help but worry about it now. We'll that out. <laughs> yeah, probably. Between this and Lamar Jackson, I'm going to go sleep. <laughs> Fine. Uh, next question comes in for actually Mr. Jeremy Joseph himself. Mm. Uh, oh, yeah. He wanted to know, what is a movie you enjoyed, but it was ruined by one scene? JP? Ghost. Which scene? Oh, the love scene? Yeah. Oh, okay. Gross. But they're making the vase? Demi Moore's tits. Uh, I didn't know you could see him in there. Well, I mean, through her shirt. Oh, but, yeah. I mean, yeah. It's pretty, yeah. Well, that and throwing uh, pots is pretty right. fucking it's gross. It's fucking okay. gross. Um, Wash uh, your hands, you dirty prick. <laughs> Honestly. She's probably got clay in her puss now. I think 
Uh, Probably. But that's naturally occurring, I think. <laughs> I think so, too. With her age. Yeah, that's true. She was the hot girl when I was in high school. Really? Mm-hmm. And uh, then she did something. I don't know if it was Jane. a leaked. G. I didn't Jane. know. This was pre pre, pre G.I. Jane. Jane. Um, like, I was a senior in high school when Ghost came out, but she was in, like, she was part of the Brat Pack. And some leaked photos came out of her naked. Uh-huh. And that chick had a bush that wouldn't quit. <laughs> <laughs> Scottish lesbian, must be. Oh, boy. Uh, anyway. Okay. Uh, just, and yeah, oh, like, no, you don't even And then a, Fuck. she kissed some co-star. Oh. Uh, who was well younger than her. Like, I don't remember just how. I'm, like, he was 12 or something. <laughs> and she was 19 or 20. She was an adult. And was seen like having an off scene or off stage romance with one of her children co stars. It was fucking weird. Yikes! Didn't she? Date and didn't Ash- get canceled. Didn't she get she married? Ashton she married. Yeah, they yeah. were married. She yeah. likes him young. Good for her. I mean, who doesn't? Yeah, not me. Um, <clears throat> I actually can't think of a lot of movies that because I don't like them after that. If they have yeah. one scene, if they have one scene, like every single new Star Wars movie that has been made, I hate it because of one scene, and then it, you just have to follow it all the way. Mm-hmm. But I will honestly say there is definitely a TV show that was absolutely fucking amazing up until the very last fucking episode, and that's Game of Thrones. That last scene ruined the. Fuck out of that entire show for me. Lost so I was like that for me. Lost sucked too. I never watched Lost. It, oh, was, it was great. I heard great it was great, great and then it ended like the end. Yeah. <laughs> Until they fucked it up. They had a endings great endings are thing. the hardest thing to come up with. Good satisfactory no. endings. No, they're Stephen not. Stephen King has never been able to finish a fucking yeah. book where the shit. We got it. We know that people can come up with great twists, but if you really want to end it on a great note. Do what everybody wants to happen. Don't try and be creative and come up with a new way of pissing people off. Yeah. Do what everybody wants to happen. You the know, Sopranos. Boy, that pissed yeah. me off because it just faded to black. We were all wondering what happened. And my whole thing was, you know, they want you to wonder what happened. Yeah. If I wanted that, I would have not watched it. Right, that and went, long. I wonder what fucking happened. Yeah. That's, that's how I would have done that. Oh, boy. All right. Okay. Uh, so you don't have one? J- JP? I already did. Oh, that's right. Well, uh, what about. I'm way ahead of the game. You are way ahead of the game. What did you do? What did you put? Oh, Ghost. yeah. Yeah. That was Ghost. the first oh, that's fucking right. one. That's right. How about you, Jeremy? Well, okay. Since this was my question, it was. Uh, I did have. I, I struggled between some of them. Okay. Uh, like Top Gun with that bar scene, you've lost that loving feeling. Yeah, that ruined I, it. As a kid, I remember being so fucking cringy and uncomfortable by that. But there's one that, like, sticks out in my mind. Okay. Okay. Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves, the Kevin Costner one. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Okay. There's a part in there. The whole movie. (laughs) I love that movie. I I didn't mind the movie except for this one part. Okay. He comes home from the Crusades to find out his father's been killed. Spoiler alert. On this (laughs) this 30-year-old fucking movie. (laughs) Uh, comes home to find his father has been killed, murdered by the sheriff of Nottingham because he was accused of devil worship, right? And he was still hanging from the rafters. And and then it cut to they've apparently cut him down from the rafters and have just freshly buried him. Uh And he's kneeling on the grave, and he goes, I basically commits to getting revenge for his father's death. And he goes, I swear it by my own blood. And he does something I've seen in a lot of movies, and I take issue with it every time, where they, they have some kind of blood oath, so they cut themselves on the palm of the hand. Yeah. Why would you? <laughs> that won't heal for a long fucking time. You're going to bust that fucker open every time. Okay? That's, that goes for any movie where they do that. But in this, he ups his fucking game. Kevin Costner does. He pulls out a double-edged dagger. Closes his fucking hand around it yeah. and rips it out in a way that even a shitty dull knife would have cut down to the fucking bone. <laughs> and being that he was a nobleman's son, that's probably not a shitty dull knife. And so that should have cut his fucking fingers off. <laughs> he one. takes it to a whole different <laughs> level. Oh, oh. Oh, I'm not done yet. Oh. I'm not done yet. Oh. Hold on. oh, I'm so sorry. Now, let's keep in mind that he did this in medieval times. Sure. There's no antiseptic. <laughs> There's no neosporin. 
or been gay. Or, <laughs> that's not an antiseptic. No, it's not. No, no binaca. No binaca. <laughs> no binaca. There's, there's none of that. Sh- they had alcohol, but I don't think they really actually understood like about germs and bacteria back then. So I don't know that they would have known that that would clean it out. So and the way everything's depicted in that movie, everything is covered in a film of mud yeah, and right. horse manure. Yeah. yeah. So there's no way that thing's not turning septic and gangrenous. Oh yeah. Not to mention, okay, let's let's look at this too. La- later on, they do show him like with a cloth. Yeah, he's bandage got a cloth on there. bandage on around his head. Yeah. Um, you know how they cleaned linens back then? They took it to a bacteria infested river and beat it on a rock. Mm-hmm. So you know that thing's sterile. <laughs> so uh, yeah. Plus, you just vowed to get revenge for your father's death, which means you got fighting to do. You know, yeah, oh, punching yeah. Yeah. and sword fighting. And bow and arrow, bow and arrow which yeah. is what you're known for. Yeah. You just mutilated your own fucking hand. <laughs> you dick. How are you supposed to get that done? Later, like later that day, he goes and fights little John. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who yeah. hits him in the fucking hand yeah. with a bow staff, and he just went, ah. <laughs> Fuck that movie. <laughs> if anybody wants to have Jeremy ruin movies, fuck for that him. movie. <laughs> just take them to the movies. You would have died long before the final confrontation just from infection alone. Yeah, you probably would Jack have. Jack off. Other than that, I fucking love that movie, though. It's a great I movie. love his his British accent. Who's? Kevin Costner. <laughs> Kevin Cost- he didn't have one. <laughs> Only on certain words. It really came and went. It was awful. Mm-hmm. Kevin Costner may be a part of the two some of the two worst movies of all time that everybody loves, Waterworld and that. <laughs> Here's the thing with Waterworld. Oh, God. By the way. <laughs> I shouldn't have said anything. Scotty, well, no. Sorry. Everybody thinks Waterworld is, is a horrible movie. It's not that bad a movie, but it was considered a box office flop because it was such an expensive set to build, uh-huh. and it sunk into the fucking ocean, so they had to rebuild it. Yeah. So basically, there was nothing they could do but lose money on it. Oh, yeah. And, and so that's why it's considered such a flop, but it's basically the Road Warrior on water yeah and no then, roads then the other thing is is there's a whole bunch of uh cinematography uh like fails in it like a lot of a lot of mistakes but that's beside the point well i don't get into yeah lots i know of you things. Okay. i'm not a pedantic next, fucker next one this comes in from our favorite uh taylor moroski uh she wants to know trigger an entire fan base with one sentence taylor swift is a cunt <laughs> yeah Oh, uh, uh, boy. I don't want to do it because I'm a fan. Go ahead. Thank God we won't have another friends reunion. Oh. Here, here. <laughs> here, 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 here. I am still busted up about that. I, I'm i still sad. But when the humor gets dark, it's still my favorite so patrick mahomes is not the greatest quarterback to ever live 100 percent. i like i like that one a lot how about you down there jeremy well i'm gonna get two with one shot here okay the doors and johnny cash suck (laughs) (laughs) i agree it it infuriates me that jim morrison was ever seen as talented Okay. He's just a drunk, obnoxious asshole who thinks he's deep. Any band that doesn't feature the electric guitar as their main instrument <laughs> is not a fucking rock band. Yeah. And Johnny Cash was just some guy who growled into the fucking mic. And people love it. And strummed a guitar. I don't think that they actually did. I think somebody told them, if you don't love this music, you don't know what real music is. Oh. And they're like, okay, well, I guess I better like Johnny Cash because he couldn't sing for shit. Yeah, His music isn't good. They all had that same, just yeah. same melody. Fuck, Scotty, you know you're a musician. Yeah, I'm totally one hundred. So, uh, uh, yeah, I don't, I, I can't. There's some asshole at work who brought in this big, like, fucking Bluetooth karaoke speaker. Sure, and he just blasts old school country music. <laughs> sure, the whole time, and most of it I can't stand. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and then I will, I will do one more. And I will say any of the Star Wars that has Rey as the uh, pro- main protagonist is shit. I think all Star Wars is shit. I don't think you're really going to piss anybody off. I don't that. think I so. I don't think you're going to get any fights other than, you know, employees of Disney. Yeah, and that's totally fine. Bring them the fuck on. 
Uh, all right. Well, but you're a misogynist. No, guy. I'm not. I just you don't like her because she's a girl, not because no, she was written shitty. There you go. That's yeah. why I don't like it. That's the problem. It's not her fault. She it's was not written that way. And she's a pretty decent actress for the most part. So. I've never seen anything else she was in. Uh, she's actually of. really good. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, last one. No lie. Come on. I don't want to. Dumb fuck. You can't do it. This comes in from Zach West ninety five. Last question. He wants to know. What are they going to start calling Black Friday now that the world has gone woke? Food stamp Friday. <laughs> is that a good one? Uh, I would that, go see a movie called Food Stamp same, Friday. Is that, is that the same? <laughs> Fuck me. Because usually those come out on Mondays, so that's a bonus. Oh, shit. We went there. We went there. Uh, I just I just described the day and was like it's looting Friday. How about you, Jeremy? Dark Friday. Dark well, Friday. I was gonna go. With oh, Dark Friday. Okay, I could go with that. I was gonna go with November teenth. Uh, <laughs> but that's a great one. Yeah. I with I, I withdraw my uh, <laughs> and selection I and I jump on Jeremy's on bandwagon. On uh, oh God! <laughs> even though it's never on a teenth, we don't care. Damn it! Ah. Uh, those are all good. Yeah, I like them. Yeah, I and racist. I <laughs> I know you've got one. I can't do it. <laughs> I can't. And I can't. So don't. Go. <laughs> I'm not going to. Okay. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that is questions and preguntas. Sincerely appreciate all your guys' input on that. But now we get to move on to a very popular part of the show. This is the laughing on the sidelines draft. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines draft. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, I won. <laughs> wow. That's, I, I saw it with my own eyes. I wouldn't fucking believe it. it. Is the Brink. It was Brink. Yeah. The Disney movies is where I did it. And I forgot one. I forgot Johnny Tsunami. <laughs> yeah. That I think, was, I think that, that yeah, I think Steve and I had a disadvantage uh, yeah. with our ages. That's exactly yeah. what it was. Yep, yeah. That's exactly what it was. But anyways, it was a great draft. I had a lot of fun with that one. Um, Not as much fun as we're going to have with this woo, one. We got a doozy for you guys out there this uh, this week. Um, I'm going to go ahead and let you know. Uh, this one comes in from Kyle Griffiths. And um, this one's not going to be up on Facebook very long. <laughs> so do us a favor. Go over to uh, Twitter and uh, subscribe and follow us there because that is pretty much going to be the only place. Scotty. I'm sorry, X. Yeah, the X, X rated X because uh, it is X rated, and uh, that's kind of what this uh, draft is going to be all about. Uh, hang on to your hats, folks. This one is going to be the weirdest uh, fetishes, uh, sexual fetishes, is what I'm talking about, and that's what we're going to draft. We're going to draft the weirdest one. Whoever has the weirdest list of that kind of stuff uh, wins. Uh, JP, I'm, I'm going to say you're the favorite in this. I would hope category. so. I would hope so, man. But Ooh. we'll see. Jeremy's pretty inventive. Uh, he is pretty inventive. Well, if you invent them, are they really fetishes? Well, I mean, they got to be established, I mean, don't they? Sure. Um, but yeah, I, I, I mean, this is a kind of an easy list to pull up. You just go to Pornhub.com and yeah. look at the categories. Hey, look at that. It's in my shortcuts. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't think it is on my phone. Uh, but anyways, this week's draft is going to be the weirdest sexual fetishes. Fetish. Oh, there it is. Right. Uh, no, right. Oh, it's no, not it's not up there. Damn Grinder it. is, though. Uh, I figured. I don't know why. Um, so, yeah, uh, this week, obviously, since I won, I get the championship picks. I get the back-to-backs at the end. Uh, JP is the sandwich, as he always likes to be. Love it. And uh, Jeremy Joseph, you get this week's first, which I think is kind of bullshit because every time Jeremy is on this show, he always wins and then doesn't get to come back and make yeah, his championship picks. But that's, that's beside okay. the point. That's, uh, that's the rules of the game. Yep. Jeremy Joseph, you get the first pick of this week's draft, which is the weirdest fetishes. Okay, have you guys heard of this missionary position? <laughs> Gross. That's, that's where you like lay on top of a girl and put your dick in her oh, wow. and like yeah. look at her and stuff and like sometimes kiss her. No, thank you. Uh, okay, I'm going to go with cake farting. <laughs> oh, my God. That's a thing. Oh that is a thing. Okay. It's a good one. I thought he was going to do with missionary, so I started writing it down. But no, we're going to go with cake farting. See what I mean? You think he's going to zig and he zags. <laughs> <laughs> 
that's, that's almost as weird as missionary. Is, honestly, almost. Is, is this really a thing? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. I am losing this draft, and I don't care. But anyways, JP, go ahead. Dude, I'm gonna go with uh, molestation. I don't think you can do that. Why? I don't think that's, that's a category. A, oh, it should be. Uh uh-uh. uh. Why not? Uh it's got to be called something else. Um, Kitty fucking. <laughs> no. <laughs> No, that's a. Uh, You're talking pedo stuff. That's yeah. not fun. Yeah, no, no, it's not I, no, fun. no. I understand it's weird. I don't I mean, think it we probably can put, is for the kid. Yeah, I don't think we can put that one. I don't think Twitter would let that one go. <laughs> All right, then I'll go with necrophilia. Ah, damn it! That was my first pick too. Son of a bitch. That's what you get. Yeah, I know, but I don't think they'll let us put. And I think you're correct. Uh, we gotta just keep that one out of it. So. <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah, mine's gonna be pretty fucking tame, I guess. <laughs> Yikes! Uh, I'm you gonna get g- butt sex. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't care for it. Uh, I'm sure you don't. <laughs> uh, no, the first one I'm gonna go with, and I still don't understand to this day, is going to be foot fetishes. That is gross. That is absolutely disgusting. I'm not a foot guy. No, it's weird. Stop it. And then. Uh, All right. God damn it! I will. <laughs> my next pick is. I don't. I got two in my head, but I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to go with pegging as my <laughs> next one. That's weird. That's not as weird mm. as you think. No, it's weird. It's uh, it's weird for dudes. Uh, but I'm sure that there's, guys, there's guys out there that like it, but it's just weird well, to me. Okay. Yeah, okay. It's that's what you should start calling Black Friday from now on. <laughs> pegging? Because <laughs> yeah. that's your standard Friday around here. It is. And it, uh, I'm sure it's yeah, a black one that she uses. Uh, uh, maybe. Uh, how about you, JP, your second pick? Let's go with uh, scat. Oh, God damn it. That, that does seem... That's... Scat, dirty? Is it scat chat? Sure. <laughs> scat chat. No, scat no, for real. No chatting. No, yeah, all. You don't no just chatting, all it. scatting. I know. I know. Talk is cheap and yeah, scat. That's yeah. right. Show me the good. Scat fetish. <laughs> oh, that's so weird. I get good, two? the bad, and the ugly. No, uh, Jeremy now gets two in a row. Okay. Uh Acrotomophilia. I don't know what that is. That is attraction to amputees. <laughs> <laughs> to me, that's just lazy. You don't even have to hold their legs up or anything. That's so this is what's really fucked up. Laziness. Mm-hmm. Tomorrow when I post this on our social media, I'm going to be using my work computer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, and then, Jeremy, you get your uh, next pick. Oh, boy. God, Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm not sure if this is is too much like JP's. Okay. With diaper play? No, nope, that's its own thing because okay. that was going to be my next pick. I knew a guy once that was into that. That's so fucking weird. I changed him once just to try it, that's but fuck- I didn't care for no, it. No, that's weird. <laughs> fucking weird. Is that what you were going for on the front porch? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sure is. No, that was actually he. what he did was his uh, last pick that he had, the scat uh, scat fetish, you know? Mm-hmm. JP, uh, you get one. Okay. Oh, no. Um. Well, you wouldn't let me have that one. Nope, you can't have that one. The pup play. The what? Like pup. Pup? Like dog? Like okay. Like people that dress up like fucking animals? No! Not that one. Yes. There's, aren't they the same? Are they different things? No, that's the same. Is this, like, is this, fur, like is this furries? furries? Yeah. God damn same it. Same thing. I don't fucking get it. It's uh, fucking weird, man. Th- why you're why do you want to fuck a dog? <laughs> Why? I, I really like that. And they dog. have, I'm a, <laughs> the, the pups and masters and fucking, yeah. they, what? Good. That's Whoa. so gross. If you're dressed oh. up like an animal, that's, that is gross. Yeah. However, I do want to fuck the Philly fanatic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think everybody wants to fuck the Philly fanatic. The Philly fanatic would be, I mean, that's a freak. Oh, no. All right. Well, my next pick is going to be bondage. Oh my god, you ha- bondage is the best. No, mm-hmm. it's not. Oh, yeah, man, bondage is cool. I do not. Cool. I do not want to be restricted. I do not want to be tied oh, down. Tie me up no. and fucking just form a line, boys. No, no, absolutely not. Okay, I'll get in that line. I'm sure you will. <laughs> I mean, I just want to see what's going on. I just on. want to see. You get up to the front, you're sorely disappointed. <laughs> no. You're like looking around trying to get up. What's going on? Ooh. Must be something cool. Yeah. I'll be standing <laughs> yeah. in line like, this is worse than the fucking rides at Disneyland. Yeah. Come on. Uh, let's go. In and out. 
Oh my god! Oh, in and out sounds delicious. I'm running out. Uh, it does, doesn't I'm, it? I'm running out of uh, of picks here. Get on the fucking internet. They never run out. I know, but I I, th- I thought. Oh no, nope, never mind. Nope, we got it. Nope, I'm gonna go BBWs. Yeah. BBW. Yeah. Big black wiener. No. <laughs> <laughs> Big beautiful women, which is it's never big beautiful women. It's always obese women, and I am not into that. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, JP, go ahead. Straight porn, just in general, <laughs> just anything with a vagina in it. I'm not. It's weird, <laughs> and I don't like it. Okay. Straight porn. Got it. Don't care. for Have it. you ever seen the inside of a vagina? Yeah, they are weird not, looking. Yeah, not great. There's a reason they call it a clam, and clams are fucking ugly. Oh, my God. <laughs> There's no pearl in there either. I've looked. I know, but it's delicious. Oh, well, you got to uh, put sand in there. Get them out. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> They're kind of mean whenever they got sand in there. But they are. Uh, Jeremy Joseph, uh, you get your last two in a row, dude. Uh, zoophilia. Uh, that's uh, so weird. That's the fucking animals, right? Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say that's weird. It, it's pretty weird. Fucking an ostrich. Good. Yeah. Good yeah. luck hanging on to that motherfucker. Yeah. They are fast. <laughs> I know a couple of guys who did it. Yeah, we yeah. sure do. Uh, um, and then I'm going to go. Uh, this is actually one of the more standard-like fetishes of, of any uh, cuckolding. I don't know what that is. Oh, yeah, that, that is weird. That's where you like want to watch somebody fuck your partner. No. Oh, no. To me, that's just fucking lazy. No. Yeah. Get in I, there. I, I like in. the idea of sex, but boy, that's a lot of work. Yeah. <laughs> you do it. I just want to watch and, oh. and maybe kind of stroke my dick. No. Maybe, if I'm allowed to. Some of them, they put them in those fucking plastic cages. Oh, yeah. Put their dick in those plastic. Why? I don't know. Oh, so you can't mess with it. Well, <sighs> but I want you. to. <laughs> but I want to. I mean, <laughs> whether there's sex going on or not, I want dick in hand at all times. <laughs> <laughs> I got to know what it's doing. Oh. Because you never Lord. can trust it. Yeah. Mm, good run away. All right. I think I have your last pick, JP. Oh, yeah. Can I guess it? Okay. Okay. I'm going to guess it. Okay. Lesbian porn. No, oh, that's man. too. Weird. I didn't. I don't even like to think about that. Well, I know. I just you know. I don't. That's, that's become so mainstream. Is it even a fetish? No, yeah, it's no. Uh, it's it's my favorite. Yeah, one hundred percent. That's not my pick. Except if they're like real lesbians, and I don't like it near as much. If they're fake lesbians, they're hotter. So okay, yeah, that's my deal. Uh, but yeah, uh, what is your last pick there, David? So it's kind of what he already said, kind of, but not really. I was gonna say the donkey show. Ooh. Can we? What, what do you? I think that's different than animal. Like, that's a very specific like, animal. It's a right. Yeah. Okay. It's way more specific. Yeah. That's uh, okay. Like, Especially when heard, it's guy on donkey. Either way, but, but I have heard that is like the worst smell. <laughs> <laughs> no, apparently, you're worried about the smell. No, apparently, donkey semen is not. Well, don- <laughs> donkeys never wash their nuts. Right. Ever. Well, <laughs> dude. I that, mean, if like, I had one complaint about donkeys, people were throwing <laughs> up. Wash your stuff, balls, you like, filthy fucking yeah. animal. Okay. Oh. So I guess that's my last pick. Okay. Uh, you know what? If people are going to nitpick this, <laughs> <laughs> they deserve what they get. I think it's, yeah, it, I, I agree. Uh, I'm surprised it's taken us this long to do this one. Um, but I, th- I feel like we need to elaborate. <laughs> I don't know. I got another one now. Okay, well, that's your honorable mention because I'm going to go with my... Just one? Huh? Just one? My last one. No, not you. He just has another one. several, but I thought about changing my donkey one. There is a a fetish that apparently men are, like, really fucking into, and that is women in high heels stepping on their nuts. Mm. And I don't know. Cockball torture, I don't know. (laughs) Yeah, (laughs) that's a good one. So that is my last Mm. pick. uh, And I also knew a guy once. Oh, my Lord. Uh, What is wrong with you guys? He wanted me to fucking punch him in his nuts and stuff. I mean, I did it, but I wasn't happy about it. Why? He liked it. Okay, that's fine. But, like, I just, I don't understand. I had a thing with a girl for a little while where she was really into like way rougher than I was comfortable with. Cause it really bordered on abuse. Yeah. Like just everything short of wanting me to punch her in the face. <laughs> <laughs> and oh, she was some Trevor Bauer. Her, shit, huh? Her 
sexual abilities are the only thing that kept me from wanting to punch her in the face. So she was, <laughs> if it was not for that, there would have been no reason to keep her around. Oh, yikes. Uh, yeah. Well, anyways, again, this will not be on Facebook tomorrow. This will not be on Facebook Just tomorrow. Try, put it up and see how long it lasts. The last so. time I did one that was way tamer than this <laughs> lasted maybe two seconds, yeah, and it was yeah. immediately taken down. Yeah. They're so never let this go. No, fuck no, no they're not. Way. So uh, so yeah, you can go to Twitter. The Twitter will or, or X. X. You know what? They're fucking sex shaming us. <laughs> yeah, they that's are. what they're doing. It's bullshit. I fucking say we non-tolerant sue. Non-tolerant sons of bitches. I say we sue. Go to X, which is at L O T sidelines, and vote for the list of the weirdest fucking fetishes uh, of all time. And on that one, you can actually leave comments. But the only problem with this particular situation of people leaving comments is the spam porn bullshit. I'm gonna get on my goddamn twitter account I like that is going to be ridiculous mm. i actually had if you guys haven't noticed out there uh, a lot of us that follow us on facebook uh we uh, for the longest time had a side sideliners community uh oh, really? like group yeah yeah for just people who are like our super fans that want to be able to they call themselves sideliners like uh yeah that. yeah I like that and uh anyways i had assholes to, i believe isn't it keep uh, laughing assholes well that too but the, i had to take that fucking group and and like shut it down because of all of the porn spam that was coming up on people's like, like feeds of just going over it. And it's like, this is Facebook. How the hell you let you take our shit down, but you let this up. Facebook sent all my like, okay. So not even on Facebook, Facebook sent texts out to some of my contacts with like a um from messenger yeah yeah college boys something something well that makes sense it's uh, from you right right no it does oh. make sense oh, okay. but i did i'm not a member of that facebook group oh. but it sent invites saying hey i'm a member J- join my group or whatever the i'm derek not joined? a fucking member of that the derek. derek is now <laughs> yeah but i'm not still but derek is now yeah i figured as much yeah. Uh, anyways, yes, go and vote at, on Twitter for us. Uh, I would seriously appreciate that. All of us would. And, uh, again, you can leave some comments, but just be whew, be, be careful. Uh, but, anyways, that is the draft. Uh, and now we get to move on to my favorite part of every single episode. This is the laughing on the sidelines shitty situation of the week. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation brought to you by Fanger Bang Beer and Legos. I missed the button. <laughs> okay, you got it the second time. I got I, I just. Well, you should give yourself a fucking boo I, bu- for your button pushing ability. That's there all, you go. That's all I got. All right. But, anyways, Legos. Uh, this is going to be kind of short and sweet, very simple. Focuses around one guy. Uh, on August 13th, 1987, Paul G. Thomas, who was the co-owner of Thomas & Sons Textile Mill, was operating what they call a pinwheel dresser machine, which uh, takes uh, wool yarn off of these great big industrial-sized spools and uh, winds them onto smaller, more manageable spools. And uh, he was it's a pretty automated machine, So there was, and he's the co-owner of the place, so... He wasn't really being supervised or anything, so nobody's exactly sure what happened. But at some point, he either fell or was snagged and dragged into the machine and immediately wrapped up in 800 yards of yarn, uh, which wound up suffocating him. They didn't find him for quite some time later. Um, Now, here's where things get very disputed. Um, Some of the employees who had to unravel (laughs) the spool uh have claimed that given the condition of his body because a machine like that would there's no telling what that might do to somebody's body but given the condition he was found in primarily the state of his clothing uh there was a good chance he was whacking it (laughs) while all this was happening (laughs) apparently while a lot of his clothes were torn his belt was just unbuckled and still intact (laughs) Uh, his family, of course, vehemently denies that this is the truth, but these people knew and worked with him and knew what kind of a dude he was. And if that is true, that makes this the most extreme case of autoerotic association <laughs> I have ever heard of. But it would certainly explain why he lost track 
<laughs> of what you're doing. And I guess if it's your time to go, go out doing something you love. But now your child can recreate the magic of this moment using nothing but a little imagination, some yarn, and Legos. <laughs> some yarn. Legos, be sure to always wear your personal protective equipment. <laughs> That's great, Jerry. Oh, wow. All right. I like Paul Thomas. He's my new favorite guy. <laughs> Paul Thomas, a good guy. Poor guy. Too, too soon. Too died too soon. soon. Died too soon. He died too soon. Oh, man. Well, I wish so he could much. come back so he could die all over again. so much more to do. In the same do. fucking way. And that way we'd know if this is a habit. Uh, yeah. Well, at least it would come back in today's time where there would be cameras pointed right at him so we would know how this all happened. That's a whole new definition of pulling wool. <laughs> yes, it is. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this week's laughing on the sidelines shitty situation is, would you rather every time you had to wipe your ass, you had to do it with your bare hand blindfolded, or every time you wanted to have sex, you had to drive two hours in order to do so. Which one would you rather do? Drive two hours for sex. Really? Yep. You don't want to, what? what? Not. I don't want to wipe my ass with my own hand Every time, <laughs> like every once in a while, I like to use a little teeth. Sure, you got to mix it up. Yeah, <laughs> oh yeah. So God. that's why I'll drive, I'll drive two hours whenever I want to have sex because it's been so long now that, oh. yeah, I mean, that doesn't bother me. I'm shitting in the shower. Yeah, and then using your hand. Yeah. Uh, I'm, that's uh, cheating. I'm uh, shitting in the shower. that's not in the spirit of this fucking that's game. That's true. <laughs> that's true. You're disrespecting what if you're at the, the mall? game. <laughs> what if I'm at the mall? Yeah, man. What if you're at the mall and I you feel just like, got a shit and there's no way, you know there's no way you can make it home. And trust me, that shit happens. Uh, so I, I feel like. You have to do it then, too. Oh, no. I have to act as commissioner here and protect the integrity of this fucking game. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to find a loophole. You want to shit or drive to fuck? Yeah. <laughs> okay we're, we're nothing if not full of integrity around here you know what i i, I wouldn't mind a two-hour drive <laughs> it's not Compared bad to- i can I, I mean if you especially with today's technology i can just put my phone and just watch porn for two hours get in the mood and by the time i get there oh man but if she gave me blue balls that would be horrible uh yeah i'm driving yeah. i'm driving yeah, of yeah i'm driving the two hours okay you're getting good enough cell reception for Two hours one, over that distance? To 100%. Get? Wow. I'll, I'll drive two hours in a circle. I don't care. <laughs> hey, man. You got to do what you got to do what you yeah. got to do. You just up and down the street. What are you <laughs> doing? I got, got two try, hours I got two to hours kill. to kill. Let's go. And I'm, pull, I'm putting that porn on full blast. How about you, Jeremy? Oh, I'm wiping my ass with my hand every fucking time. I knew it. I knew it, too. I'm comparing the cost of soap to the cost of gas. <laughs> oh, that's a good point. I, I did not think of that. Shit will come off. Oh, I know that for a fact. <laughs> you make a good point, if but it, I'm still not. I'm still driving. If you're permanently, st- if if you could have it come to you and not have to drive, yeah, and just wash your hands a lot, yeah, once a day, really. I mean, unless you're really shitting a bunch. Oh, uh, oh on those Fre- days, Fred. Uh, Fred, who's also on the show, uh, is he where? Well, I mean, he he's a uh, he's on the crew. Um, he he shits like seven times a day. No kidding. Mm-hmm. Then you wash your hands seven, seven fucking times. times. Oh, it's wild, yeah. man. That is five more than I wash my hands. It's <laughs> <laughs> a lot. Oh man, that's why we only fist bump. Yeah, that's that's where, that's exactly right. Or touch wieners. <laughs> Sometimes yeah. I'll greet you that way. We call that docking, Jeremy. No, I that. I'm fucking circumcised, number one. Oh. But, no, we don't go that far. We just kind of touch tips. Yeah. Oh, just touch tips. Yeah. Don't make it something fucking weird, yeah. Scotty. Just, don't make it just, weird, dude. Just a tip. He'll stop doing it if he thinks it's weird. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, that is the episode for this week. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. And thank you very much to Mr. Jeremy Joseph. <laughs> Sir, it's always a pleasure. Uh-huh. We love you. You know we do. Sure. And obviously, Mr. JP, thank you so much. As always, you're the best. I am. You, I, you are. I know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, but ladies and gentlemen, we sincerely do appreciate everything that you do. Uh, go and follow us on all of our socials. Again, um, we can't uh, we can't say how much it means to us that you guys are uh, still uh, <laughs> fucking listening to the show after almost five years of doing it so can't thank- say what it means to us can't say what it means about you <laughs> Holy fuck. hey that's yeah. what we're here for we're here to make you laugh and uh or at least make an attempt to do so 
and that's uh, that's why we do it. But anyways, thank you guys so very much for uh, you know sharing our content, especially if you like us. But if you don't like us, I hope your mom goes to JP's garage sale and buys you his old barbecue clothes. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't like us. Uh, tell your enemies. And until next time, guys, pick up the original, pick up the pace. <laughs> <laughs> until next time. Keep laughing, assholes. We will see y'all later. Take care.